gonna have each of you introduce yourself and do a two minute opening. I'll let you know when. All right, my brothers. Have each of you introduce yourself and do a two minute opening. I'm gonna start with you, Cap. Do a brief two-minute opening. Introduce yourself. Let the people know what it is you're gonna be putting down today. Then our brother nobody gonna introduce himself and get into his uh his round. All right, I appreciate it. The water brother. Uh, I'm Captain Ten Thousand Dog Ball of the ISPK up under commanding General Yahana. Y'all already know what it is and what it do. Um, what we plan on doing today is showing the people that Christianity is the number one enemy to uh, God's chosen people, to Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians outside of our oppressor, the so-called white man being the devil. You understand that the next runner up is Christianity and how it is destroying Black families, Black households, Black and Hispanic and Native Indian people, you understand? And it, and it has to be wiped out of the Black community in order for our people to turn around and thrive. Black folks love to talk about thriving. And one reason that we cannot is because of Christianity. And uh, Minister Nobody has said a lot of different things um, in the different little, uh, what you call them, preliminaries that we didn't have. You know what I mean? He, he talked about how uh, slavery, I mean, uh, Christianity had been around since slavery, you know, um, there's, uh, churches down there on every corner in the hood, you know, you got, matter of fact, in the city of St. Louis, you got over 1700 churches. Now, why is the, the, the black community looking the way that it's looking? If Christianity is the way to go, if Christianity is the religion is the faith is what uh, God's chosen people are supposed to be doing, then why uh, has Christianity not been working? You understand? It simply does not work because it is false. Something else that he said, too, is that uh, he actually believes that there is a difference between uh, true Christianity and the white man slave master Christianity. And we're going to show you that both of them is the goddamn same. There is no difference between Christianity uh, uh, as far as a denomination, as far as Baptist, Pentecostal, they're all liars. You understand? Um, Methodist, apostolic, you understand? It don't matter which one, uh, C-O-G-I-C, all of it is false. It all goes under the same umbrella. Right, That's your two minutes. I'm gonna let you finish up though. Uh, okay. and and. Uh, one thing that they have to do today is they are gonna to have to be accountable for, the, they're gonna be held accountable for the things that they have been doing for years in the black, Hispanic and native Indian community. You understand? None of that getting off the hook with that, uh, you know, that passive mess talking about the people that did these things were not true Christians. When we're gonna show that yes, they were, they were absolutely Christians and it's the Christian thing to do, which is to be completely false, a liar, a sinner and everything else that God hates. Right. Captain DeGaulle Gabor coming in, coming in hot. We're gonna have to go ahead and uh let it be known that the brother is not playing around with our brother nobody. Uh I think that this is worthy of one of those uh, those bomb droppers. Let's give it to him. I appreciate that, brother. All right, now we're gonna take this over to our brother, nobody. Uh, what's good with okay. you, man? Uh, you got, hi, everybody. Hi. Not bad, bro. You got two minutes. Oh, okay. Story. Okay, everybody know me, man. I'm nobody. Always trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody, which is Jesus the Christ. Um, the topic of today's debate is who's better for the black community, the uh, black church or the IHUPK. Um, today, um, my brother will not be able to show you what the IHUPK have done 
that is more than what the black church have done for the black community. The only thing my brother will be able to show you today are individuals who he disagree with who call themselves Christians, but he will not, and I'm gonna say it again, he will not be able to show you anything that the ISUPK has done to outwork the black church as pertaining to what we have done for black people. Um, I don't really know who this brother is uh, under, but obviously they did not smarten this brother up. Um, everybody knows that you do not take a debate that you are going to lose in. And we know definitely that this brother is going to lose because the topic is about black people. The black church was started by black people for black people to benefit black people. So this debate is already over before this debate even gets started. Again, there is nothing that this brother is going to be able to show you from the ISUPK that they have done or is doing now that the black church having already done is doing and will continue to do for the black community. Um, we're not, we're not going to hear anything about a bunch of hate speech, bunch of rhetoric, um, him pointing out people that he may not like. Um, we know the definition of a Christian. A Christian is a person who follows and practices the teachings of Jesus Christ. The people who he will right, be able bro, to point out. That's your two minutes, but I'm going to let you finish up. I just want to say that the people that he will be able to point out who are not following the practices of Jesus Christ is irrelevant to the conversation. Uh, the topic of the debate is the topic, and I guarantee you this brother would not be able to stick to the topic to show you how ISUPK has benefited the Black community more than the Black church. All right. And so the brothers decided that our brother Nobody was going to go first. And so the first round is going to be 10 minutes each. And the first question in our debate is, as concisely as possible, explain what your organization has done to benefit Black people. And my brother, your time will start when you start. Uh, let me share my screen real quick for you to start the time. All right. All righty. Um, here we go. You start my time, bro. Um, like you said, the uh, first round, the subject of this debate is what institution has done more to benefit Black people. As I said in my opening statement, this brother would not be able to show you anything that ISUPK have done to show that they have outworked the Black church. And um, I'm going to give this brother a history lesson on the Black church. And uh, here's my opening page. This is uh, the Invisible Institution, the African Mutual Aids and Benefit Society, the Negro Church all better known as the Black Church. And uh, we're going to get into the invisible institution right now. We're not going to talk about everything. We're just going to touch on a few things. And here we go. What is the invisible institution? This is by Reverend Jamal Bryant, the invisible institution. In the season of slavery, now we know that slavery started in, in the 1600s. ISUPK didn't come along until three decades later. Let's keep going. In the season of slavery, Historians define the Black church as the invisible institution. The name was given because Blacks assembled to worship under a stroud of secrecy because such gatherings were outlawed by those who had the mind to know if a slave had a field spirit. It would be a matter of time before he slash she came into a sense of self to clear their conscience of reducing African-Americans to three-fifths of a human being. Our enslavers had to claim we did it have souls. Now I want y'all to remember that part that says to clear the conscience of reducing African Americans to three fifths of a human being. Because my brother and the I and the ISUPK likes to read from the Zombie Venn Dictionary as pertaining to the word Negro. And we know that in that time period, the word Negro uh, meant the word beast because white people used to teach that black people were not human beings, but they were animals with opposable thumbs so that they could justify how white people treated our ancestors during slavery. The Zondaran family are a product of this ideology. And when they wrote this dictionary and they put the word Negro in the dictionary, they were not saying that the Negroes were Jews, because if you look up Negro in that dictionary, it don't say that they were from Ham, Sham, or Josephette. That was coming from the ideology that Negroes were animals to give justification again for how they treated our people during slavery. Let's keep going. 
This is a book written by Peter Randolph in 1855 called The Peculiar Institution, which is just another name for the um, invisible institution. And we're gonna see a little bit of what he said. We're not gonna get into everything because I only have 10 minutes. So we're just gonna um, skip through real fast. It says, historians investigating African-American religious history have labeled the secretive slave worship service the invisible institution because much of it was invisible to the eyes of their masters. In their cabins, woods, thickens, hollows, brushed arbors, shelters of cut branches, also called hush harbors, throughout the South, slaves held their own religious meetings where they interpreted Christianity according to their experiences, applying the stories and symbols of the Bible to make sense out of their lives. Now, we see that in the invisible institution, these preachers were still preaching the, mess, the, um, the biblical message of Jesus Christ. We know that the white man had what was called the slave Bible. It's a Bible that is altered with verses taken out, scriptures that are twisted, and this is what they were teaching our African ancestors over here in slavery. But we had slaves that could read. And once they got a hold to that real thing, that real Bible, that real drip, we can see that these people will hold church services on their own. And the slave masters did not like that. We have um, tellings from slaves from their own writings saying that they would get castrated, they would get beat, they would get whipped. Some of them would even get killed just for praying to Jesus. Their slave master did not want them to feel as if they knew who Jesus Christ was or that they were even saved so that they would be in uh, submission to these white teachers because they were teaching the Bible falsely. Let's keep it moving. The invisible church, slavery. Invisible churches among slaves in the United States were formal Christian groups where slaves listened to preachers that they chose without their master's knowledge. The invisible church taught a different message from the white controlled churches and did not emphasize obedience. Now, when you listen to the brother's opening, he said that the white Christianity that was practiced is the same thing as the black Christianity that was practiced. Well, we have evidence that what, our, that what the white people taught the slaves was not what the Bible actually says and that our ancestors were not dumb enough to believe half that mess that those people was talk, talking to the point to where they would set up invisible churches um, under the nose of the slave master in which the slave master couldn't see because they were teaching a different message. Our preachers were not only preaching the message of Jesus Christ, but they were teaching our, um, our ancestors in slavery to be disobedient to the slave masters. It goes on to say, some slaves could not contact invisible churches and others did not agree with the invisible church's message, but many slaves were comforted by the invisible church. Now we see that during this time, um, around the 1600s, there was no ISUPK. At this time in America, when, when Black people needed um, self-confidence the most, who was there? Black preachers that was teaching our people to have self-confidence, that was teaching them to stand up for themselves, that was even teaching them to rebel against what the slave master was teaching. They were even teaching our people not to be scared to run away and go get free. Where was General Yohanna at? Where was ISUPK at during this time? Oh, that's right. They didn't show up until three centuries later in 1969. ISUPK are the sons of the black church. They would not be able to uh, stand on these corners spitting all the rhetoric that they were spitting if it wasn't for what the black church had already done. Let's keep it moving, man. Uh, this next thing that we're gonna get into is gonna be the African Mutual Aids and Benefits Society. All this is the black church. The, um, the um, African Mutual Aid and Benefit Society that started in, 19, in uh, 1770. This is almost two decades before the ISUPK was even thought about. Let's get into that real quick. Um, I don't have time to focus on every single um, African Mutual Aid and Benefit Society because there are so many, man. So we're just going to focus on this one, and we're not even going to get into everything that they did. We're just going to touch on a few things. Um, it says the uh, Free African Society, the FAS, a non-denominational religious mutual aid organization that provided financial and emotional support for newly freed slaves in the United States. Now, how many finances have General Yohanna and ISUPK provided for our slaves? None. How much emotional support have ISUPK did for the black community during slavery, especially back in the 1700s? None. 
let's keep it going. The, the, the FAS was formed in 1787 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania by an American preacher, by American preachers, Richard Allen and A.B. Jones and other free African-Americans. The mission of the group was to provide fellowship, a place of worship and monetary support for members and their families in case of sickness and death. The FAS constituted the first African-American Mutual Aid Society in Philadelphia and one of the first such organizations for, Amer for African-Americans. Now, again, I don't have time to get into every single thing that every single um, um, African Aid Benefit Society had did, but I'm just going to list off a few names of them and you can go and look these societies up for yourself. Two minutes, nobody, two minutes. Okay, we have the Free African, we have the Free African Union, the Free African Society, the Dark Man of Color, the New York African Society, the African Beloved Society, Baltimore Society of Relief in Case of Seizures, the, the Afro-American Female Literacy Association, the Colored American Temple Society, the Phoenix Society, the, the Union Library Society, the Young Men's Liberty and Moral Reform Society, the Negro, the Negro Mutual Benefit Society. Man, it's so many societies and almost every single state that we have in the United States. And all these people have worked super hard to do what they do for the black community. And, and this is just a list of some of the things that they have done. They had sick benefits. These are health care plans. How many health care plans have ISUPK provided for the black community since their existence in 1969? We're talking about the black community, not its own people none. Um, they maintain marriage records. How many marriage records do ISUPK maintain? None. Why? Because this brother says that ISUPK teaches you don't have to get married. Um, you are married once you go jam your penis into a female. You don't have to go in front of the federal government to be married. They say that I, they say that they can have you as a female. They can have one, two, three, four, five of you as four, five to five hundred of you, as many of you as they want as their wives. This sounds like um, genderism to me. These, these men, it sounds like they look down on females and they want females to be in submission. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. They they man, I don't even have time to get through everything, man. Um, bro, I got so much stuff, man. Uh, W.E.B. Du Bois, man. Uh, man, bro, I, I can just keep going all day, but this is what I will say, man. The black church, has, if this was a basketball game, the black church has put so many points up on the board, man, that if we were to add any more points to the score, all we can do to the score is run it up, run it up. Huh? What? Oh, I thought Cap had said something. The black church, we the whole loaf. ISUPK, hey, the bread crumbs, man. Let me stop showing. Wow. Look, look, look. I think our brother has clearly established. That wasn't enough. I ain't even get through half of it, bro. <laughs> I think our, our brother, nobody, has clearly established his case in this first round. Drop a bomb. Uh, I got you know, so much, man. I, I got I gotta say that uh, the brother definitely established his case. Give him a Give him some Man, cheers. that wasn't even half of it, bro. <laughs> Give him some cheers. You did. Uh, mute your mic, nobody. Uh, Captain 10K, it's on you. Speak your speech. You got hold on, hold on one second, but we got the uh, speaking thing going out. All right, all right. I think, I think we're good to go now. All right. Your time to start when you start. Okay, hold on, give me two seconds. Hold on. All right. Why is it doing that? Why? You hear it? Okay. Okay, it might be good now. Okay, we had a uh, little issue with our speaker going on. Uh, okay, um, the, uh, the topic of the debate is which is better for the black community? Is it the black church or the ISUPK? And it is definitely not the black church, wow. all right? And I'm gonna show you several different reasons as to why. The uh, First off, for this brother to uh, minister nobody to bring up an article from Jamal Bryant, you understand, who is a known child molester who turned around and got a 15, 16 year old little girl pregnant and then tried to get the little girl 
to uh, have an abortion, man. Right. You understand how sick of a Christian preacher to turn around and do such a thing, man. But then make an article about the the uh, invisible church. You understand? You, you wasn't invisible uh, when it came to that young girl's bed. Right. You understand? You was very much present. You understand? But like I said, that's Christianity all day long, because guess what? All of them are sexual deviants, man. They all are sexual deviants. You understand? From the preacher to the pulpit to the members, all of them, man. You understand? Every single last one of them. And when you go off of our record, I'm going to share, I'm gonna share the, uh, the screen real quick, if I, if I can. One second. Give me one second. Take your time. Take your time. Ain't no sweat. All right, I got it. Here we go. I'm finna share this real quick. You understand? So everybody can see uh, the record that the ISUPK up under command of General Hanna since 1969 has versus the reputation and the record that the Christian church has. Right. All right. Now, Ever since the ISUPK has been institution since in 1969, we are the home of the truth, the one and only home of the truth. No lies. You understand? We got the list right here that I'm sharing the screen. Okay? No lies whatsoever. You understand? Brotherhood and sisterhood only exist in these four walls. They don't exist in the Christian church right. at, at all. All right? But then uh, let's go to the child molestation. And you have check marks, you understand, all in the uh, black Christian churches, you know, uh, since since slavery, since he liked to mention, he liked to mention that since slavery, right? Um, of course, they don't have the truth. Everything that they teach is lies. And we're going to show that. You understand? It, it is the house of Satan. All right. The Christian church is the house of Satan, not the house of God. You understand? Because if God was really the God of that house, then none of these things will be happening. You understand? Uh, when you look at the ISUPK's reputation and our record, no child has ever been molested up under command in General Yahana. Right, right. When you go and look at adultery, it, it exists in the Christian church all day long, but it has never happened in the ISUPK up under command in General Yahana. You got whoredom. It goes on in the church every single Sunday. You understand? But it's, it does not exist in the ISUPK up under command of General Yohanna. Abortions. We're going to show them. We got articles. We got uh, facts to prove and substantiate the things that we're saying. We're not just talking here. You understand? That the Christian church is the biggest organization amongst black people that aborts their babies even. You understand? Even a crackhead, Whitney Houston, had more love for the child than the damn uh, black church did. You understand? Because guess what? The church will abort them and they'll turn around and molest them. Right. All right? Homosexuality and lesbianism, it does not exist in the ISUPK. No sissies are in the ISUPK. No uh, lesbians, no bull daggers in the ISUPK, but they exist in the Christian church all day long. You understand? Your prominent preachers and the small guys. You understand? Your little local preachers, they all support homosexuality. You understand? Even the preachers that claim that they don't, that has came out and spoke out against homosexuality, they always turn around and get caught up in some type of homo scandal. You understand? But homo scandals and any type of scandal has never happened in the ISUPK up under command of General Yohanna. But it always happens in every Christian church under whichever denomination you want to pick. Even minister nobody is in a non-denominational uh, church. Guess what? It happens under them too. Right. And we went back, I went back just, just 30 years. You understand? Going all the way back, slavery, man, would, would totally kill this guy. You understand? And it should make him feel bad that the Christians have such a long track record of doing nothing but lying, deceiving their members, robbing them out their money, 
molesting all their children, being gay, being lesbian, and being the biggest damn hypocrite to ever walk the face of this goddamn earth. He should be ashamed of himself and he should drop Christianity. But like most Christians, he, they brag and they boast and they wanna come on and they wanna support and they wanna approve how they're the next top Christian. You understand? Well, guess what? The Lord is going to do him and the rest of them like he's been doing them. He's going to expose them all. And then they're all going to, they're going to have to get up and lie some type of way, make some type of excuse like what he's going to do for all of the things that we're going to bring out today. All of the facts that we're going to bring out today, he's going to do nothing but make a same old sorry ass excuse that they all use and lie and say, well, they weren't true Christians when they are true Christians. It's a true Christian thing to lie. It's a true Christian thing to molest children. It's a true Christian thing to be an adulterer and sleep with another man's wife. It's a true Christian thing to make your woman a whore. You understand? Support whoredom. It's a true Christian thing to abort your children. It's a true, true Christian thing to be a homosexual and a lesbian. It's a true Christian thing to uh, idol worship and love that rugged cross and that money that the people is bringing to the goddamn church. You understand? And it's a true Christian thing to be a big hypocrite. And a per uh, that's a person that says one thing, but does another. And that's each and every last Christian. They claim to be lovers of God and freaks of Jesus, but guess what? They such freaks that guess what? They don't do nothing God say do. They don't do nothing Jesus said do. Jesus said to do what God said do. And the Christian church does absolutely none of it. So when it comes to the our reputation versus the Christian church, hands down, the ISUPK wins all day long because we have done none of the things that the Christian church has been doing for years, man, and has not stopped. Even during the pandemic, the preachers don't even have enough in children to just, just say, you know what, it, everybody's dying anyway. I'll stop being a child molester. I'll stop being a sexual deviant, man. I'll stop being gay. I'll stop teaching that lesbians and, and, and gays will be in the kingdom. We're going to stop all of that because everybody's dying anyway. Let's at least feel sorry for the people that we've been lying to for the longest. Let's at least feel sorry for the people that the pastors have been molesting for the longest. Let's at least feel sorry. And guess what? The mothers, oh my God, they don't even care about their mothers, the grandmothers, none of them. You understand? Cap, we got two minutes, Cap. Two minutes. Got you. So like I said, man, when it comes to who is better for black people, it's the ISUPK. Because number one, we're not going to lie to you. We're not going to rob you out your money. We're not going to razzle and dazzle you with some old phony speech, <laughs> teach you things and say things that's not even in the Bible. You understand? We're not going to do that to you. And we never have and we never will. But you get lies to the church. You get confusion in the church. You get homosexuality and lesbian, lesbianism, selfishness. You get that in the, in the black Christian church. You understand? You get all of those evil things in the black Christian church. You get nothing but sin in the black Christian church. When the ISUPK actually follows Christ, when Christ said to go and sin no more, guess what? Every man and every woman that comes in here, you have to turn around and stop sinning against God. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. And that's what the ISUPK, guess what? We're ordered to do that by commanding General Yohanan. And where did he get that order from? He got it from Christ. You understand? For uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, to stop sinning, go and sin no more. But leave it to the Christian church. One of their greatest sayings is that you are a sinner and you just can't help yourself. You're born into sin. There's no way for you to stop. You sin every day. They do all, they tell people all kinds of things, man. You understand? And then one of the biggest excuses they love to use is we all fall short. That doesn't mean that you have to sin against God. You understand? So like I said, we're going, to, we're going to show how Minister Nobody, as I'm sure he's bringing it out already, how he is a full-blown hypocrite himself, just like the rest of his members in the That's Black time, Christian Cap. Church. That's time, That's time. Finish your thought. Uh, I'm, I'm done, brother. All right, all right. We're going to drop one more bomb for Captain 10K of ISUPK. And uh, the brother came with some smoke. He came with some heat. <laughs>
All right, now we're gonna switch it back over to our brother, nobody from Trust and Believe the Gospel as we head to round two. Round two is 20 minutes. And so the question for round two is which organization follows the biblical text? Give an example of why yours does and why your opponent does not. So you have 20 minutes. I, I, I said 20 minutes because maybe 10 could be why yours does, 10 could be why your opponent doesn't. However, you decide to uh, divvy it up. But regardless, you got 20 minutes. Our brother, nobody from Trust and Believe the Gospel, it is on you. Let's do it. All right. As I said in my opening statement, the first round was about who has benefited the black community more. And the brother did exactly what I told you he was going to do. All he did was try to throw slander on the black church, but he didn't point out to you anywhere in any way, shape or form how ISUPK has done more for black people than what the black church has done. The black church was started by black people for black people to benefit black people. And all this brother did was when he used his entire 10 minutes to go on a rant to show you what he don't like <laughs> about the black church, while at the same time not showing you anything that ISUPK has done for the black for the black community since its inception until now. <laughs> I told y'all he was gonna do it. Okay, uh, let me show my screen for a second. Bro. <laughs> I don't know who taught this dude how to debate, but obviously General Yohanna didn't. That's more than this dude up. But let me go. Uh, let's go to this Bible real quick. We're going to go to Matthew 25 and 33. And it says, um, let's go up to 31. Now, as a matter of fact, let's go to 32. It says, all the nations will be gathered in front of him. He will separate them from each other, just as a shepherd separates sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right side, but the goats he will put on his left side. Then the king will say to those on his right side, come. You, you who uh, will receive good things from my father, inherit the kingdom that was prepared for you before the beginning of the world. I was hungry and you gave me food to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothes to wear. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Visited me. Um, when it comes to the black church here in America, who has the most food pantries out of any other institution in the world? The black church. Who has the biggest clothing drive out of any institution in America? The Christian church. Who has the biggest shelters and orphanages out of anybody in America? The black church. Um, when you, my brother, my stepbrother, he's in prison right now serving a 25 L. Him and all his inmates will tell you the people who come visit them the most, the people who come put on the most prison programs for them are the black church. ISUPK is a prison doctrine, but these people, to the best of my knowledge, has not done anything for these prisoners in comparison to what the black church have done. We know that the black church is the number one organization for education for the black community. We have so many colleges, it would take me all day to list them. We have so many high schools, so many junior high schools, so many elementary schools. Again, we have so many orphanages, so many hospitals. Um, we go to old folks' homes just to sit and have conversations with widows. The Bible teaches us to do this. Now here is ISUPK, verse 37. Then those who are righteous, will reply to him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or in thirsting and give to you? When did we see you as a stranger and welcome you or naked and give you clothes to wear? When did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? Then the king will reply to them, I assure you that, um, I assure you that when you have done it for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you have done it for me. Then he will say to those on the left, get away from me. You who will receive terrible things go into the unending fire that has been prepared for the devil and his angels. I was hungry and you did not give me food to eat. Now, how do we know that? Um, there is a person called Captain Cesariak of ISUPK. They threw, the, they threw a cookout in the neighborhood and a young black, young black kid showed up to the cookout. And what did Cap say? Cap said, um, 
They didn't even give him a hot dog. They didn't even give this young black kid a, a what he say, a fountain drink. They're in the black community throwing a kickout for black people. A black kid shows up to this kickout and they wouldn't even feed this kid. And they mean to tell me that they're doing what Christ taught? Christ taught us to feed people. He didn't teach us to turn people away. But what, but what did they do by admission of his own captain who's uh, above him? They turned away a child because what? Because he was African. We're all Africans. We all come from the. Um, we all come from West Africa. Those slave ships that left Africa during the transatlantic slave trade, they came from West Africa. They didn't come from Jerusalem. They came from Africa. And this person and his institution wouldn't even feed these people. So if they wouldn't feed a black child, they're not going to feed a black adult, adult that's a man or a woman because they're simply African. When we all are Africans, we all come from Africa. Um. Let me move on. We're going to go right here to Matthew chapter 5, where it talks about, uh, matter of fact, let me just go here with it. I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 5, where it says, you have heard, you have heard that it was said, you must love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemy. And pray for those who harass you so that you will be acting as children of your father who is in heaven. He makes the sun rises on both the evil and the good and sends rain on both the just and the unjust. If you love only those who love you, what reward do you have? Now listen to what this brother has said since he's been talking. He's been spewing nothing but hate speech. The only people he look out for is what he said, the um, Native Americans, the Mexicans, and the, and the self-proclaimed identity-stealing black people who want to be Israelites. They don't love their enemy. They hate their enemy. They hate everybody else if you don't self-identify as a Hebrew Israelite under their false 12 short doctrine. But what did Jesus say do? Jesus said to love your neighbor. He said to pray for him. He said to do good to him. He said if you only love your brothers and sisters, what good is that? These men claim to be following Jesus Christ, but they totally dismiss Matthew chapter 5. Let's go on to uh, Matthew um, 22 and 30, uh, what's this, 37. It says, he replies, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like to it. You must love your neighbor as you love yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. Again, where is the love from ISUPK? All you see is hate, all you see is slander. These dudes are nothing but a black KKK. What do the KKK teach? The KKK teach that black people are not human. We are the beast. They teach that we are specifically the beast that was in the garden that deceived Eve into biting from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. What do ISUPK teach? They teach that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. The very serpent that was in the garden who, uh, who um, told Eve to bite from the tree of life. This is the same doctrine. The KKK teaches that the white people are, are superior than any other people on earth. And everybody else falls short when it comes to them. What does ISUPK teach? They teach that they are superior above every other race and nationality on earth, and everybody else falls up under them. They teach the same ideology that the KKK teaches. What else do the KKK do? They read the Bible and they twist scriptures and take it out of context so that they can feel justified in their actions. What do ISUPK do? They take scriptures, they twist them, and they take them out of context so that they can feel justified in their actions. The black community don't need another hate group. We got, we got too much hate already going on in the black community. We got too much black on black crime already going on in the black community. We don't need ISUPK in the black community teaching a reverse doctrine of what the KKK teaches to their people. Now, again, this brother likes to use the Zondervan Bible. The Zondervan Bible comes from the Zondervan family. They put the word Negro under the definition that they put the word Negro to say that black people are beasts. I can prove that. Uh, let me go here real quick. Right here, this is a book written by Edward Atkins. This is uh, in the 1900s, and this is the uh, around the same time that the Zondervan Bible had came out. It's called The Negro, A Beast. And we're not going to read all of this. We're just going to read a few parts of it. Um, right here, where it says, um, he held that the Hebrew word, which has been translated serpent, and telling the story of the temptation also meant 
black and that it was the Negro gardener um, who induced Eve to eat the apple and had therefore been doomed to slavery. That pseudoscientific theory has lately been replaced in a book, which is the most sacrilegious book ever issued from the press in this country entitled The Negro, A Beast. Now let's skip on down here. When it says, um, the writer repeats the theory of Debo reviews with the variation pretending that Negro is not a descendant of Adam and Eve, therefore not a man, but that he is descended from beast and that therefore no Negro has any of the rights of human beings and may be treated as a beast. This is the last ditch in which this folly will be submerged. Now this brother try to tell you that they have um, the advice that the black community should be following while at the same time telling you that you are not African-American, but you are Negro. They're using a white supremacist ideology to self-identify themselves. In the Zonovan Dictionary, not one time again will you see the word Negro under Ham, under Sham, or Josephat. But what they teach, they teach that the Negro, um, according to the Zonovan Dictionary, is talking about Negroes or Jews. That's not written nowhere in that dictionary. In that dictionary, they used the word Negro and said that Negroes are not African Americans or not Africans because they were saying that we were not humans. They weren't saying we were Jews. They were saying we were animals with opposable thumbs. They were giving justification as to why our ancestors were treated the way that they were treated during slavery. And this brother and his institution read from this racist white supremacist dictionary. Come on, man. Y'all dudes ain't got nothing on the black church. I don't care how many people you find in the black church that that uh, goes against some of the teachings of Christ in which a lot of those people you will see us disagree with. We disagree with the prosperity gospel. We disagree with people taking people money. You can go down my YouTube page all day. You will see me calling out the TDJs, the Queflo Dollars, the, the all these other TBN, Daystar preachers that you see on TV. We call those people out too. If you come to my church, you don't see no homosexual, uh, uh, no homosexuals. You don't see the pastor raping no children. Me, I'm my wife's first boyfriend. I'm the only partner she's ever had sex with. I'm the only man she's ever been married to. Man, my wife been together for 20 years. I don't have no um, background on me where I didn't been to prison or jail for some crime that I've committed. You've never seen or heard me rape anybody. You've never seen or heard me molest anybody. You've never seen anybody in my church do any of those things. If you come to my church and local church is just like mine, all you will see is stand up black men doing what they can do for the people. Yeah. Some people have came from jail. Some people used to be homosexuals. Some people used to be criminals. Some used to be gangbangers. But they come to our congregation and they repent, as the Bible says. They have a renewed mind, as the Bible says. God forgives them for their sin after they repent, as the Bible says. And those people have did a 180, and they walk in the newness of life. The church has more testimony for people who have came out of sinful situations than any inst institution in the ISUPK. Now, he want to say the ISUPK, but the ISUPK is nothing but another denomination of the Israelite movement. In the Israelite movement, these men teach that they're going to be raping 12-year-olds in the kingdom. They say that in heaven, grown men are going to be raping your daughters. We have the leaders of the One West. ISUPK is nothing but a break off of the One West doctrine. They didn't originate this thing. One West originated this thing. And now the One West got debunked so many times on their 12 tribe chart, on their false ideologies, on their false prophecy. What happened? These Israelites started scrambling. Now they want to come up with their own camps. Now they want to follow General Yohanna and, and uh, GMS and, and Sakari and all these breakout groups. Y'all are all the same. You teach nothing but rhetoric hate speech, and all that. The Bible tells us not to worry about our genealogy. The Bible tells us not to get into disputes over genealogy because genealogy is meaningless. When you walk up on a corner and you see these black Hebrew Israelites on the corner, what's the first thing they ask you? Do they ask you, do you know Jesus Christ? No. They say, do you know your nationality? The Bible says, don't even do that because it don't matter. But what they do, do you know your nationality? Walk up to one of these street preachers, these black Christian street preachers. What's the first thing they're going to ask you? Do you know Jesus Christ? What did Jesus tell his apostles to do? He told them to take the gospel to the world, to tell people about Jesus Christ. These people aren't telling you about Jesus Christ. They're trying to get you to believe in some fictitious narrative that they are the Jews um, 
that the Bible speaks of when in reality they're stealing people's identity. And the only way that they could try to prove that they are the Jews of the Bible is by taking a pseudo dictionary from a white supremacist, from a white supremacist family to try to get you to believe that that's who you are in which they can't even prove to you that, that that's who they are. They don't like DNA tests. Why? Because if you take a DNA test, you will see that most people in the world share the same DNA regardless of, of the percentage that you have. We're all one. Anybody can use E1B1. If you find E1B1 in a black man, you're going to find it in a white man, a German man, a Mexican man, a Chinese man. So nobody can stake their claim. These dudes claim the fame is to take Deuteronomy 28 and 68 out of context. Deuteronomy is a book of the law. First off, it is not even a prophetic book. Then they get to Deuteronomy 28 and 68 and say that this is a prophecy. How are they following Jesus Christ and they don't even know that this is not a prophecy? Huh? That's what I want to know. You claim General Johanna is following Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus Christ would have told this dude, hey, man, uh, this is not no prophecy right here in this book. But what they do, they believe it. They believe that the transatlantic slave trade somehow reflects Deuteronomy 28 and 68 when that wasn't even a prophecy. That was a contract. God said that if you do this, I'm going to do that. If you don't do this, then I'm going to do that. That is obligation. That's not a prophecy. A prophecy is something that is going to come to pass regardless of what happens. Every prophecy you read in the Bible, the prophecy tell you, hey, this is going to come to pass. This is going to come to pass. It doesn't say it's going to come to pass if the Hebrews do this or if another nation do this or if another nation do that. But that's what these dudes teach. These dudes don't know the Bible. All they do is twist the Bible and all they do is slander the black church when the black church has done more for black people in this country than any other institution on the face of this earth. Again, I don't know who this dude leader is. I don't know who taught this dude, but obviously they did not smarten this dude up because they should have told this dude, hey, bro, there is no way that you can win this debate. And if you notice, the topics of the debate, he's not touching on none of the subjects that, that we agreed to speak upon. The only thing he's going to continue to do throughout the rest of this conversation is try to slander the black church while at the same time not giving you any information that ISUPK has done that the black church has not already done, is doing, and, is, and will continue to do to this very day. The black church is the leading institution for black people, and it is no doubt you can go look up any history that you want to go look up, you will not find any other institution doing more for black people. This debate is already over. It was over before we even agreed agree to have the debate. And I don't need my whole 20 minutes. I just want to say that if this was a football game, the black church has put so many points on the board that if we score another touchdown or kick another field goal, all we could do to the score is run it up, run it up. Huh? What? Oh, I thought Cap had said something. The black church with a whole loaf, ISUPK, y'all the breadcrumbs, man. I give you my time, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All I got to say is my bro dropping bombs. Okay, okay, okay. We are going over. To y'all, Captain, my Captain, Captain 10K of ISUPK, Captain Gagal Gabor, under command of Jenny Yohanna, you got 20 minutes. And the question is, which organization between the Black Church and ISUPK follows the biblical text? Give an example why yours does and your opponent's does not. You got 20 minutes. Your time starts when you start. All right. Uh, I appreciate it, brother. First off, I want to address some of the things that he said. Now, who follows the biblical text, whether it's the black church or the ISUPK? It is the ISUPK up under command of General Yohanna. Right. We actually follow the text. The Christian church does not. Um, the brother uh, is, for some odd reason, he is really hard up on this African not getting fed. But right here in just this one um, school that, you know what I'm saying, because we are a bunch of schools, you understand, all over this earth, out the country, in the country, you understand, we are every major city in America, and we have food programs all over, right? And just here in this one, you understand, this one school that we have up under Commander Juniana, we are feeding thousands of people you understand uh, of our people 
Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. They, did, they didn't say, we didn't say the requirement was for them to be an Israelite. So that is a lot. And when we're done with this, just like uh, Mr. Uh, Minister Nobody had apologized for a lie that he told and something false that he said, he's going to have to do it again because he's lying a lot on the ISUPK. You understand? Not nowhere did we ever refuse to feed a black person a native Indian or Hispanic because of them not being an Israelite. Right. You understand? I can show you our form that they signed. We don't even ask them, man. We don't even ask them, are they an Israelite? What is their religion? Commander General Yohanna is feeding the poor at that time. You understand? And the people that need the food, the black people that need the food, they come and they get fed the food. You understand? So that's a lie that we don't feed black people. Now, he, uh, he loves to make mention of of Africa so tough, all right? And Africa, 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 Africa. I'm so sick of black people talking this nonsense about them being Africans. When you have no real proof, and we're gonna see, are Africans, uh, 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 do they love uh, you just as much as you love them or, or do they not? All right, this is an article right here, I believe I'm sharing, I think you can see it on the screen, all right? This is, Haiti, right? This is uh, when Haiti tried to join with the Africans, okay? And this is what it says. It says, Haiti is one of us. It's just not African enough. The African Union denies Haiti's membership. You understand? They, they said in this article, yeah, we all dark skin, because that's all they talking about. Right. But he said, you know what? You're not African enough. You understand? So guess what they did to uh, the, our brothers and our sisters that's in Haiti that's over there eating mud pies, you understand, and losing their goddamn teeth. These people turned around that know that we're not the same people and said, yeah, you're one of us. You're the same dark skin, but you just ain't African enough. And the thing is that we're not Africans. The Haitians are Israelites. They're not Africans. And Africans know that. You understand? So while he's still hung up on that little that little boy not getting fed that goddamn hot dog, he said out of his own mouth, he said, if anybody had to terrorize my people the way that you are describing that uh that his people had terrorized ours he said when i get older i would hate you too you understand he said i wouldn't feed you eat he said if this would be no discussion you would not be welcome at his cookout that's what the little african boy told captain chisaria now, why does this child have enough sense but this Christian preacher who loves every damn body? It's too damn stupid to realize that everybody doesn't love you. Everybody does not love you. So that don't even make sense. We sing, we uh, sing song, made a song that said, it's all good loving somebody when somebody loves you back. So why in the hell are we turning around and giving our love to the other nations of people when they do not love us at all? Right. You understand? Africans don't give us no love at all. Our oppressor that he loves dearly, the, the oppressor is near and dear to his heart. You understand? They hate us as well. But guess what? It's the Christian thing to do to force yourself on these people, to force your love on them. But meanwhile, you giving none to your very own right. because you loving them so goddamn much. And y'all can go and check this article out uh, at any time. I'm finna stop the share on that. And then I'm finna go back into sharing one more thing. One second, Warrior. <clears throat> Let me get back to this. Now, I did say the brother just is such a, such a uh, giggly and laughy about every damn thing. He's not paying attention. I did say what the, uh, what the ISUPK has been doing for the black community. You understand? And it's telling them the truth and not lying to them. Our organization is the only organization to where brotherhood and sisterhood actually exists. You understand? We do not molest children. That's doing for the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian community. We do not commit adultery, sleep with other men's wives. That's doing for the Black, 
community. We don't promote whoredom in uh, the ISUPK up under Commander Junior Hanna. That's doing for the black community. We are against abortions and we have all of them big nappy head babies of ours. You understand? That's doing for the black community. We're not homosexuals and lesbians. That's doing for the black community. We don't idol worship and we're not hypocrites. And that's doing for the black community. He bragged on the church and its finances sending uh, children to college. But the, meanwhile, the pastor is sending them to school with penis up their back. So what good is that for you to turn around and send them to college, but you to molest them on the goddamn way? You understand? The, 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 the uh, education is no more the key. You understand? You done took that key out of them by you molesting those people, man. So I don't think he's really paying attention. You understand? He, he's just like every other Christian. He likes to brag and boast on himself. And he, he's not a criminal. He didn't do this. His wife only been with him all these years. Who gives a goddamn about you? You understand? When it should be about the most high. It should be about Christ. If that's who you truly serve. And that's who you really about. But all I've been hearing is about himself. And that's every Christian preacher, man, whether you're a preacher, minister, uh, a pastor, whatever you want to call yourself. You understand? They do more bragging on them goddamn selves than they actually do the work of the Lord. Right. The work of the Lord is nowhere present in their goddamn day, in their night or any damn thing else. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start sharing. I'm going to stop sharing this and start sharing the slides. One second. Oh, I think I got it up. Hold on. Okay, there it is again. That's this is the ISUPK's reputation against the black Christian churches. You understand? All right. Now let's get off into this. Uh oh, Slack. One second. Okay, the I, the Christianity and the black church has done nothing but failed blacks, uh, Hispanics, and Native Indians. It has failed the black community. Like I said, just this one city. St. Louis has 1,700 Christian churches right here in the city. And why does it look the way that it looks? Why is it so poor the way that, it's, the way that it is? You understand? Why does the things happen right on the church's lots? You understand the things that takes place? Okay, and here's the definition of Christianity. This is supposed to be the religion that derived from Jesus Christ based on the Bible it's scripture and professed by Eastern Roman Catholic and uh, Protestant uh, Protestant bodies, right? And it's the conformity to the Christian religion and the practice of Christianity. And we're going to show you how all of that is false. But we're going to get off into child molestation. The brother said that I'm just going to spew a bunch of rhetoric. You understand? I'm going to make a bunch of false claims. Give me that, that uh, definition that I asked you to look for real quick of slander. He said that I'm going to do nothing but slander the black church. And we're going to see what the definition of slander means. Slander, a malicious, false, and defamatory statement or report. A malicious or a false report. Everybody that I'm about to bring up in these articles that you can look up have been proven to be 100% true. Not no goddamn slander. These children that brought these accusations against these pastors told the truth and they all were found to be guilty of what they were being accused of. Not one of them goes un, uh, 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 unfounded. All right. And this article here, this is over in uh, East St. Louis, right? It says hell must have a special place reserved for child predators especially for those who claim to be men of God forever. These preachers have been claiming to be men of God, but then they turn around and do things like this, molest children in the church. You understand? And it says, and who use that position to trust, a slack of trust to fulfill their perverted desires? Who actually does this stuff? Christians do all day long. You understand? And it says a 36 year old man, the Reverend Terrence Jenkins was arrested by East St. Louis police after the mother of an eight-year-old victim filed a complaint alleging predatory criminal sexual assault. 
The report was filed back in December of 2007 and Jenkins was subsequently arrested on July 23rd. Now, remember, I said I'm going back 30 years. So all of these articles are not uh, 2020, 2021, 2019. You know, they spread all over, OK, to just show the, 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 the uh, long history of this sexual deviancy up under Christianity, up under that umbrella. Right. Uh, Let's see. Jenkins was a volunteer and videographer for the Faith United Baptist Church in O'Fallon, where the Reverend Willie D. Brown serves as pastor. All right. Uh, Brown's congregation comprised of approximately 100 members, most of whom are African-American youth, is known for its teen talk cable television show. Uh, the show and sponsored by the United Way focuses on the mentoring and education of youth and young adults. Soon after Jenkins' arrest, Brown quickly denounced Jenkins, saying that I must distance myself from this despicable act, which was the very least that he should have done. So guess what? This pastor, he, he actually knew what was going on, and they do that. Once, they, once it comes out, once you get exposed for doing it, then that's when the pastor, if it's not him being caught doing it himself, he has to distance himself from you. You understand? They turn around and deny you and say that you weren't even a member. They, they lie all the, all the damn time. You understand? Just to save the, the members and that money that they're getting in that church. Okay? Now let's go to the next one. And, and all of these are all real articles. This is nothing that nobody made up. You understand? We don't have that kind of time to turn around and make up things on anyone. This is not slander. These are facts. These are things that these preachers have been found guilty for doing. All right. And uh, this is in the Riverfront Times. This is 2018. It says a St. Louis minister has been charged with molesting an underage girl. Jesse Claiborne, the 47 year old pastor of New Age Missionary Baptist Church, abused the girl multiple times between the beginning of August and end of September, the St. Louis County police say. Claiborne is accused of rubbing the girl's genitals and having her rub his. Police say they were each clothed during the incident. Now, in this article right here, this incident happened. What they took and did was these preachers here in the city of St. Louis are molesting children at such an alarming rate. They took this incident to where they both had clothes on. And he said, you know what? Now we're going to take child molestation and we're going to reduce it to even touching you understand to where if you touch a child in a manner then you are guilty of just molesting them you understand and they do this so much here in the city of st louis that they had to take this one right here that a christian preacher did and say you know what we got to up the law on this one because they're doing it too damn much and so they, they put a new law in place because of this Christian pastor, man, because of Jesse Claiborne. This is what they did. All right, I'm going to skip to the next one. Like I said, we're all over. East St. Louis, St. Louis. Now we're going to go to Texas, right? This is 2019. In Houston, Texas, a pastor at a Northeast Houston church has been charged with sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl. Paul Kane, 65, is charged with sexual abuse of a child and sexual assault of a child. Kane is a pastor of New Cannon uh, Missionary Church at 4609 Hirsch Road in the Cashmere Gardens community. All right. Um, investigation, investigators say the investigation started after a female victim made an outcry of abuse. Kane used his phone to send multiple sexually explicit messages to the victim and sexually assaulted her multiple times in 2018, according to the investigator. This, this is not slander. This was not a lie. This is nothing nobody made up. The ISUPK does not have to make up anything on the Christian church for it, in order for them to be proven false and just as despicable and disgusting as they could possibly be. You understand? We didn't make up any of these articles. These are all things, acts done by the Christian church. All right. This is January 14th of 2020. After a Las Vegas pastor was arrested in December on suspicion of sexually abusing children, four more girls come forward to tell police about alleged abuse that took place at the church since about 2016. 
All right. And it says uh, the pastor, 44 year old Bramwell Bernardo Ritana, was booked into the Clark County Detention Center on December 20th and initially faced six counts of lewdness with a child under 14. Two counts of luring a child with a computer to engage in a sexual act. Now, you know, the computer holds all the information. You understand? And you ain't going to find no man in the ISPK trying to lure no goddamn child on no computer, on no phone, and for no damn reason. You understand? We got grown women for that. The brother spoke against a man having more than one woman when that's not a sin. A man can have more than one woman. And we do in the ISUPK. We don't molest children in the ISUPK. So you wonder what, what are we doing for the black community? We're keeping them safe. They're able to save virgins, remain children, and keep their goddamn sanity, you understand, all the way up until they're an adult and they're capable of making that decision of going out to have sex with the uh with the opposite sex. No one is forcing themselves on children in the ISUPK. Right. All right, let's keep going. Because the Christian church has to account for this, man. You can't just say these people were not Christians when, yes, they are. You understand? Here's another one in Texas. The Texas pastor has been found guilty of sexual assault of a child. Each and every one in these articles have been found guilty. All denominations and even non-denomination, they in here too. All right. Ronald Mitchell, 59, sexually abused an underage female church member from 2015 to 2016 while serving as pastor at the Body of Christ Ministry. Many of the members, including the 15-year-old he abused, had moved in with Mitchell. She was then homeschooled at his property. The teen never told anyone about the abuse because she said Mitchell told her that if she did, she would be killed by God. And it would be her fault that the movement was destroyed. And let me go. Two minutes, Cap. Two minutes. Okay, gotcha. And let me go a little deeper into this. He turned around and he had his wife to go and get these girls that he was molesting in this uh, 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 cult of his uh, birth control so that they wouldn't get pregnant. Show you how nasty and how sick and how perverted these preachers really and truly are. Let me jump to the next one, man. Because you want to know who follows the biblical text? It's the ISUPK. Right. All right. And then something else that he said, the minister, nobody lied and said it. He is going to have to apologize. We do not teach that you can molest or rape anybody at any given time, whether right. it be now in the white man's kingdom or whether it be in the kingdom of heaven. That really sounds real sick and disgusting for the kingdom of heaven to be the safe place, but then you're gonna rape women? That is taught by a totally different group. You understand? Who is not in the ISUPK? Who left the ISUPK to teach such nonsense? That group is not even uh, uh, affiliated with the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commander General Yohanna. One West, the ISUPK is one West. Right. There is no one else. There's only one West. We're not a break off. Commanding General Yohanna did not leave the group. Commanding General Yohanna is the only one that stayed in the group. You understand? So like I said, his, this dude here does not know nothing about what he's talking about. Right. But again, here's another one. A third Ohio pastor charged with sex trafficking underage girls reportedly impregnated his teenage victim who subsequently took abortive pills to terminate the pregnancy, man. Look at what these preachers are doing to these children. First off, you damn raping them, you're molesting them because you're a sick, nasty bastard. And then you want to turn around and have them murder the goddamn baby, man. You understand? Look at the psychological That's time, damage. Chef. That's time. Finish your thought. 30 seconds. Look at the psychological damage that the church has been doing to bl the black community, man. And you ask me who follows the biblical text more? It's the ISUPK hands down. Who is for the black uh, community? It's the ISUPK hands down because we have never had any of these allegations that come up against us and have been proven true and we've been found guilty of. All right, all right, Cap came with that fire. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Right, so we're going to move on to the third round. And in this third round, each of our contestants, participants 
are going to have 15 minutes each. The question is, who has the answer for improving the lives of Black people? The Black church or the ISUPK? And as we've been doing this whole time, we are going to start with our brother, nobody from Trust and Believe the Gospel. And brother, it's on you. You got 15 minutes. Your time will start when you start. Unmute your mic. All right. Uh, the topic of the second round was about who follows the Bible more, the Black Church or the ISUPK. And if you notice, this brother didn't pull out one scripture. Refer back to my original comment. And the first time I started speaking on this video in my opening statement, I told you exactly what this brother was going to do. And he's following it to the T. And the reason why he's following it to the T it's because the black church started since the 1600s in slavery. We brought our people out of slavery. We pushed for the civil rights movement. We pushed for the civil war. Um, this dude in ISUPK only started in, the six, in 1960. So there is no way, shape or form that he can show you how ISUPK has done more for the black church when ISUPK showed up three centuries later. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, the dude is using slander. Um, and the reason why I say that is because he's reading off the list of some of those people who have done those things, and he is applying that to the entire Christian church. I brought up my background because I am a, I am a, a minister, and I'm in the church. But if you pull my background up, you won't see any of those things. You won't see any of those things on, on my pastor background. You won't see any of those things on the background of any person on staff at my church, any church that we are associated with, or any church that the churches we are associated with are associated with. So the reason why I brought up my background is to disprove his slander that just because those men may have claimed to be Christians and have done those things, you have more Christian pastors like myself than you do those people who you see in the mainstream media. But guess what? He's not going to talk about that. Now, the topic of this debate is who has done more for the Black community. Notice, he has not showed you one time where ISUPK has done more for the Black community than the Black church. All he, could sh all he has done is went on rants about rhetoric of stuff that has nothing to do with the topic of any round that we've had on this debate. The first round was about who's benefited Black people more. Notice he didn't show those benefits because he can't. The second round was about who's uh, following the Bible more. He didn't pull up not one scripture to show y'all how they're following the Bible more. I pulled up several scriptures that shows what Jesus Christ wants his people to do for the world and that the black church is the leading institution in doing those things. Who is ISUPK doing for ISUPK? Now, I can go pull up the video from Captain Tazariot telling us why he didn't feed this uh, uh, African kid. I don't care how much food or whatever um, General Johanna sends to the black community. He ain't doing it for everybody in the black community. He's only doing it for what Cap said, the Indian, the Mexicans, and the people who were trying to steal the, uh, the Jewish identity from people who are Jews. That's all that they do for. The black church don't ask you if you're Christian or not. When we go up under these bridges, my church, we hand out what's called packets. It's a long Ziploc bag with Toothpaste, toothbrushes, soap, deodorant, hand towels, floss, and all that. When we go up under these bridges to go hand this stuff out to these homeless people, we're not asking you what you believe. We ain't asking you, are you a Hebrew? We ain't asking you, are you a Christian? None of that. We're just doing for the people. Just like Christ said, even if some of these people are our enemies, guess what we do? We love on them. What this dude said? This dude said that the black child that showed up to the cookout said that he wouldn't feed them and he used that as justification as to why they didn't feed him. But what did Christ say? Christ say, feed these people. He didn't say if somebody walk up to you and say, well, hey, man, I ain't going to feed you, then you don't feed them. Bible don't say that. This is what they teach. This is how you know they don't follow the Bible. Again, I don't care how many preachers or pastors this dude can pull up. Um, some of them names that he mentioned, you can go on my page and me taking shots at those very same ministers or preachers or church owners or whatever. So he ain't doing nothing that the UA community don't do to his own people. Now, he said that ISUPK is the home of the truth. 
Well, guess what? They lying about Deuteronomy 2868. They lying that the white man is the Bible that the devil speaks of. They're lying that they are Jews. But he says General Yohanna is following Christ because he's telling the truth. What, what truth? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he got some good stuff that he might say every every now and then and, and here, here and there. But let's compare what he's talking about to what the black church has done and what the black church has talked about since the 1600s. Remember this, these dudes didn't show up until the 1900s, man. The black church was doing for our people since slavery. We got our people out of slavery. What was ISUPK at doing slavery? Oh, that's right, they didn't exist. We gave our people mutual funds and benefits to help them financially. I didn't even get to get to all the slides that I was gonna show in the first round because I was gonna bring up the AME church. Harriet Tubman was a part of the AME church. Frederick Douglass was a part of the AME church. I didn't get to bring up Marcus Garvey. I didn't get to bring up Sir Jonah True. I didn't get to bring up half the people I had in my presentation. And these are well-known names that everybody look up to that you know that these people have done for the black community, despite the, um, the people that he's trying to bring out, who some of them names that you might not even know. Hands down, this debate was over before this debate even started. I said it in my opening statement. This dude is not going to be able to show you anything that ISUPK has done that would outdo what the black church has already done. You dudes are a day late and a dollar short. Y'all are the black church's sons. Wouldn't be no ISUPK if it weren't for the church. We the father, y'all the kid, man. Y'all couldn't get on the counter and spew y'all rhetoric if it wasn't for the black church pushing for civil rights. Y'all couldn't get on the counter and spew y'all rhetoric and y'all hate for white people if it wasn't for what the black church did from the uh, Church of God and Christ at Emmett Till's funeral. Emmett Till's funeral was held at the Church of God and Christ, which was founded by, um, by a man named Reverend Mason, a black man. At the funeral of Emmett Till, this is where this is what sparked the civil rights movement because the black church was tired tired of what was going on and um, seeing what's happening to black people in our community. What was ISUPK at at that time? Oh, that's right, they didn't exist. This dude want to show up. What now? We in 2021. You dude showed up a few decades ago, and now you think that you have the the plan to help black people. Um, benefit from whatever y'all talking about. The black church and I already did it. Whatever y'all can think of, we've already thought of it. Whatever y'all think about doing, we've already done it. Whatever y'all are doing, we have a monopoly on it and we have executed the plan to the fullest extent. There's nothing you can say, nothing ISUPK can do, nothing that you can plan on doing that the black church haven't already did, man. Y'all y'all are two levels away from playing catch up. You ain't even got to the level of playing catch up yet. So what is this dude talking about? You can go show all the stuff that you want to show from these people. We're talking about the positivity and we're talking about which institution has done more for black people. If we look at these Israelite camps, I don't care if they're from ISUPK or not. They are Israelite camp. They believe the same 12 tribe choice that you believe. They believe the same Deuteronomy 28 and 68 that you believe. I can go to YouTube right now since he said I'm lying. I can go to YouTube right now and pull up the Israelite groups standing on the corners telling people that they're gonna rape 12 year old girls in heaven. These are your people. These are your brothers and sisters from the Hebrew Israelite movement. These ain't Christian men. These are your brothers. You can try to disassociate yourself all you want to with these men, but if you're gonna di disassociate yourself with these men, then you're gonna have to show that same courtesy in disassociating me and my, and my institution with other churches who we don't associate with. But since you don't wanna do that, then we're gonna group all y'all dudes together. Y'all got people out here kissing y'all feet. If you look at the One West Camp, the founder of the One West Camp, he got caught up on so many charges, there's a documentary on it. He was, he was sleeping with y'all dudes' wives. He would, have, he would have the husband to stand outside of the door while he slept with their wives. I could pull the documentary up right now. So what are you talking about when it comes to adultery and fornication and rape and all this stuff? Man, we can pull that up for any institution, but that's not the subject of the debate. That's the reason why I ain't even think about pulling up none of that stuff because it don't matter. What I have pulled up and what I have shown is that the black church is the whole loaf and I, as you can the breadcrumbs. We have done more for the black community than any other institution on the face of this earth, let alone in America. To my comedic people who follow this channel, listen to what this dude is saying. This dude saying that we're not even Africans. This dude is so indoctrinated that he believes that he is a Jewish person. He has no evidence outside of one scripture in the Bible that's not even a prophecy. They are suffering from an identity crisis. 
Our people have already been uplifted. These people are looking for upliftment and stealing somebody else's identity and now want to turn around and say what the black church um, has, has, has done in a negative way. Of course, it's going to be negative. And when you've been around for three centuries, of course, you're going to find people who do negative things. But that don't take away from the positive that those people have done in which this debate is about which institution is better for the black community. Now, again, man, you can pull up all the stuff you want to pull up. I can pull that same stuff up when it comes to Hebrew Israelites. So, so when it comes to those things, neither group is better than either group when it comes to that. But what we are better than the black Hebrew Israelites is that we've put in more work for a longer amount of time before, before ISUPK or Hebrew Israelite root movement was ever in existence. Before General Yohanna was thought of, before his daddy was thought of, before his daddy's daddy was thought of, guess who was putting that work in? Black church. Because that's what we do. Like I said, man, this dude ain't did nothing but what I said he would do in my opening statement. He hasn't stuck to none of the subjects on any of the rounds. That's the reason why this debate was over before it already started. I don't know, again, who this dude leaders are because his leaders should have taught this dude. Hey, man, that's a debate that you don't want to take because that's a debate that you can't win. Now, if we were talking about another subject, who's done the worst to the community or something like that, then maybe some of the stuff he's saying would be relevant to the conversation. But in this conversation, we're talking about the positive and we're talking about who's done more for the black community. And I'm gonna say this again, the black church has done more for black people since slavery over here in America up until the present day than ISUPK can even think of. If I was allowed to go back to my slides that I didn't get to show in the uh, first round, I can show you the first black banks were started by Christians. I can show you the first black health care plans were started by the black church. I can show you institutions, um, schools, systematic funding, political uh, parties and funding was, was uh, started by the black church. How many governors do we have that are ISUPK? How many mayors? How many people do we have on the board? How many people do we have on council that are ISUPK? They ain't even in the game. Politics is a game, and if you want to get something changed, you need to have your people up on these stands giving out your message. How many ISUPK members are in there doing for black people? None. Not a one. All they do is stand on the counter and spit their rhetoric. Um, I don't have to go back and apologize about nothing. The thing that I did apologize about was me misspeaking, and that shows my integrity, because, because I'm not worried about you or anybody else. I feel as if if I tell lies habitually or knowingly, that sends me to hell. So I'm not gonna sit up here and try to tell no lies just to win no debate. I apologize to you because I misspoke. And when I went back to hear the video, I realized I misspoke, so I apologize. But I can show that same video. Let's compare my one misspeaking to the seven things that you lied about on, on, on that video. I put them all in the comment section, seven. And notice, I didn't bring them up. I'm, I'm only bringing them up now because you bringing it up. You don't want to play that game with me, bro. Believe me when it comes to that. I can, I can show, we've had what, two or three videos together. I can show where you lied throughout, throughout those videos multiple times. The only time you can show where I made an error is when I misspoke on something that I didn't, that I didn't even think I had said. But again, that shows my integrity because I did apologize. How many times did you come and apologize to me? Oh, okay, that's right, not one time, because you're a liar, bro. And you don't have no integrity. Because even if it was something that you lied about that I'm not pointing out, you know you lied about it, but you're not gonna go back and make that thing right. Why? Because Captain General Yohanna don't teach you that right. But y'all following the Bible, right? There's a commandment that says, do not lie. There's a commandment that says, if you have an art against your brother, go and make that right. You ain't made nothing right with me. And I can pull up a number of lies that two you minutes, told nobody. me. If you go to the two minutes, two minutes. I don't even need the two minutes, man. I'm just gonna end this the same way I did the first time, man. If this was a soccer game, <laughs> the black church to score so many goals that if we score any more goals, all we would do to the score is just run it, that run it up. Huh? What? Oh, I thought Cap had said something. The black church, we the whole low fire should be the bread crumbs, man. I yield my time. Nobody from trust and believe the gospel. Everybody. everybody. All right, all right, Captain 10K of ISUPK, my brother, Captain DeGaulle Nabar, Gabor, it's on you. You got 15 minutes to tell us who has the answer for improving the lives of Black people, the Black church or the ISUPK. Your time starts when you start. All right, I'm going to pull up. 
some on my screen again. Give me one second. All right, let me turn the screen here. Yeah. I think I, hold on, okay. Let me pull this real quick. One second while I find this, uh, this scripture that I got here. Hmm. I, I got it. I, I, it's, it's in the slide. Okay. All right. This is uh, Acts 5 and 29. All right. And it says, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Right. Now, what's being said right here is that we ought to obey God rather than men. Okay. Uh, Christians, the members, uh, the pastors, everybody, they listen to men. That's who they follow. That's who they obey. Right. Okay. And we don't do that in the ISUPK. We actually obey God. And we're going to prove that with the scriptures. All right. Um, something else that he said, I want to know is uh, he said now uh, the debate, if it had been who has done worse things in the black community, that it would be uh, the Christian church has done worse things. So is, is that what you are saying, uh, Minister Nobody, that truly the black church has done nothing but horrendous and despicable things in the black community? Is that what you are admitting to? Because not one time has the ISUPK done or even been accused of anything that the Christian church has been accused and found guilty of. So is that what you are saying, Minister Nobody? Were you asking me a question? Yeah, I'm asking you a question. When, with the statement that you made about this not being who has done the worst thing. I'm asking, are you admitting to the Christian church have been doing worse things in the black community, like what you said? No, are they I guilty of that? that? No, I said that I'm, this I'm is, asking, this I'm asking you, are they guilty doing of doing the worst, worst things thing in the black I mean, community? If you don't ask me a question, let me answer it. If that, you don't, that's what I'm asking you. That's what I'm asking. Okay, well, let me talk then. If you don't ask me a question, let me talk. I just okay. want you to answer well, yes or no, because this, this is my time. Was, you start running on. What I said was, if this was a debate about who have done the worst things, then some of the stuff you're pulling up will be relevant. That's what I said. But since it's not, it's irrelevant. Okay. Okay. So you will be saying that uh, the black church has done worse things in the black community. So that would be a yes, right? Uh, that ain't what I said. Nope. So I said, so again, not, listen to my so words so carefully. Not, I, I, I heard exactly what you based said. Based on the things that I, were worse I, I than the that. things that you have pulled up I, with I the that. subject so of I'm, the I'm conversation. I'm just simply asking you, has the church <laughs> done worse things? You said if the debate was about that, then it would be the relevant. The points you're bringing up so would be I'm, relevant. So, That's I'm what asking I you, so I'm asking you, has the church done worse things according to what I'm bringing up? Have the church done bad things? Yeah, yeah of course. I mean, I, Absolutely. I, I ain't okay. got to I, pre I appreciate yeah. I, I, yeah. I appreciate I appreciate that. Thank you. You can go on mute now. You can go on mute okay. now. You understand? No um, the thing of that is what I said again is that the ISUPK has done none of the things that the black church has done. You understand? The black church, according to Minister Nobody, has done worse things for the black community. All of the child molestation, all of the lies and hypocrisy that they have done everything that I'm saying. OK, and they have proven themselves to be nothing but false prophets and hypocrites and liars. And Christ even spoke against them. This is Matthew 15, 7 and 9. It says, ye hypocrites, well did Esaias prophesy. Hold on one second. Of you saying, 
this people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And this is what Christ is saying about them Christians in the church. Who claims to love Jesus more than anybody? The Christians in the church. Who claims to be lovers of God more than anybody in the Christian church? You understand? The preachers, the reverends, the deacons, the ministers, all of them claim to love the Lord. They honor God with their mouth. You understand? And draw nigh, meaning near unto him with their lips, but their heart is far from him. You understand? They not teaching and doing anything of what they are supposed to do in the church, but they all sleeping with all the goddamn children. They all sleep with all the brothers' wives. They are doing this. And when you ask me who's better for Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, it's the group who has never done these horrendous things to our people. Right. The, the commander Junior Hanna won't allow a sister to get raped in here. But you know what the Christian church does every day? You understand? The Christian church does every day. He's not going to allow us to lie to our people. Right. You understand? But the Christian church does every day. And minister, nobody agrees to it. He just doesn't want to agree to it on this debate because he wants to try to prove how the Christian church is good for the black community. When I have proven by their own admission to guilt to doing the things that they're accused of. You understand? Not that I made up something out of my own mouth. All right. And in verse nine, it says, but in vain, they do worship me, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. These are your Christian preachers. Oh, this is Christianity. You understand? This is Christ coming up against the scribes and the Pharisees. Why? Because they were hypocrites. He came up against them more than he did the Romans, man. You understand? Go ahead, bro. I was going to say the scribes and the Pharisees was established way before Christ was established his ministry, too. So just because you've been here longer don't mean you actually doing the work right. Exactly. Just because you have a long record don't mean your record is clean and spotless and good. Damn and right. as he admitted, their record is spotty and messed up, and those molestations are in it. Damn just right. Just like the scribes and the Pharisees. Damn That's right. Funny. Damn right. This is Matthew 23 and 23. It says, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. This is what Christ is saying about preachers and ministers and bishops and deacons and reverends and preachers. You understand? For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, which is judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought you to have done and not to leave the other undone. So what Christ is saying is you hypocrites, you preachers, they love taking the people's sides, boy. That's what they, their ministry is all about. The people come to church and feel more obligated to give their money than their obedience to God and Christ, man. Right. You understand? They willing to give that money, but when it comes to them being obedient, they make up excuses. And you know where they got the excuses from? They got the excuses from the pastors. You understand? Is that, oh, you can't, you know, uh, no man is perfect and all of that, all of that nonsense, man, that they make up in the church. OK, and, and this the Christian church has done so much damage in the black community. And here's one of the lies that they have taught, uh, which is that God's laws are done away with, which is a lie. And here is Christ. This is who they claim to follow in the church. You ask me who follows the biblical text? Who has the answer for blacks and Hispanics? It's the ISUPK each and every round. You understand? And here's what Christ said, and this is what we follow in the ISUPK up under Commander Junior Hunter. It says in Matthew 5, 17 through 19, it says, think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Christ came, and here it is, he said out of his very own mouth that I did not come to destroy the law. Or the prophets, the, the prophets that laid anything down before me. He said, but he came to fulfill. He says, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot, one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Now, when you go back and you look at heaven and earth passing, that means it's gone. Heaven and earth is still here right now at this present moment as we speak. 
and one jot is one dot of an I and one tittle is a cross of a T shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And then verse 19 says, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, the uh, minister nobody already admitted to him being a liar and misspeaking, being emotional like Christians are, saying things that's not true. You understand? And he turned around and he think because he said, oh, well, I admitted to it that that makes it all right. You are a hypocrite and a false preacher, just like the people that turn around and that are uh, uh, molesting the children. You're the same. You understand? You're not different because you teach lies and you do things. You sin just like the rest of the, of the preachers do. You do the same thing just because you bring up your criminal record and say, well, I haven't been accused of a crime. That doesn't mean that you are keeping all the law. You have said one thing that is a lie that you said over and over and over again, which is a man can only have one woman. And that is a lie, according to the Bible. All right. And it says, and shall teach men so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. We don't teach lies. We don't teach the rape women in the kingdom of heaven or in this kingdom right here at all. You understand what the brother is doing? He's trying to jumble up all groups when there's only one West, and that's the ISUPK. There's only one teaching. There's only one body, and that's the ISUPK. You understand? And we don't get, we don't affiliate with the other people that's saying uh, that you can rape women. They're not even in our group, but he was going to keep sticking with that same lie over and over and over again to substantiate his claim. He has to lie in order to make himself sound good. When those people are not in our group, they left years ago, back in the damn 80s, to start that uh, rape doctrine. That's what they did. You understand? Those people have been gone, all right? And here's Matthew 19 and 17. It says, and he said unto him, why callest thou me good? This is a brother that saw Christ and said, hey, good, good man, good master. You understand? I need to talk to you real quick. And he said, oh, it's like, he said, why are you calling me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. The Christian church has lied for years, telling our people that they can do whatever they want to do. Just turn around and pray to God and ask to be forgiven. When that is a lie, the Christian church has been doing nothing but lying to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And since 1969, commanding, under commander Junior Johanna, the ISPK has been cleaning it all up. That's what we have been doing. We've been cleaning up all of the black Christian churches mess since they've been going, since slavery. You understand the teaching God's people correctly. Here in 1 John 2, 3 through 5, it says, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. The Christian church, all of them, each denomination has all admitted to you don't have to keep God's laws. They say that you can't. It's impossible. And I'm not just talking about the big preachers. If you notice, I didn't even mention those guys. You understand? I mentioned nothing but the small local preachers like minister nobody himself. You understand? Is that, guess what? They're all liars. They're all sexual deviants. They're all hypocrites. They're all up under the same umbrella, man, because they're all doing the same thing. That none of them follow Christ. You understand? He's, he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. These Christians in the church often say that you don't have to keep God's law. They say that God is the father and you're supposed to follow God, but then they turn around and make up their own garbage. And they turn around and do what they want to do versus doing what God said. Then he said, but whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him when you are keeping his laws. You got a minute yeah. and a half, Cap, a minute and a half. Got you. All right. And it's so much more that I can go on. You understand? I'm, I'm going to finish this scripture, Romans 6, 1 through 4, to show the hypocrisy in the church and how they do not follow Christ at all. You understand? These are the words out of Christ's mouth. And it said, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. So what the Christians in the church teach 
is that there is no way around you sinning. You're a born sinner. You're born into sin. You, that's all you're going to do is just sin and just have to ask God to forgive you. But here the question is being asked, should we continue in sin that grace may be abound? And the answer is hell no. That's what God forbid me. And it says, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? How are you going to claim to follow Christ, but then you continue to sin if you claim to be one of Christ and one of God's very own? And then it says, know ye not that so many of us as us ha as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. And the Christian church does not do that. They are the same old sinners and they all confess to it to being the same sinners that they've always been. You understand? So how do these people have the answer? How does the black church have the answer when they go to them for the answer and they turn around All right, and get All right, by the That's time, but finish your thoughts. 30 seconds. Uh, I yield my time, brother. All right, we're going to drop a bomb for Cap. <laughs> Give him some applause. I appreciate it. And once again, these brothers bringing the heat, speaking their speech. I think there's been a good debate so far. So now we are into the question and answer period. So since our brother nobody been going first, I'm going to ask my first question to the good captain. And each participant got five, five minutes to answer each of these questions. And so my question for the good captain. Now, you've been talking about the, uh, the virtues of the ISUPK, and rightfully so. That's the organization you represent. Now, you, you made the dichotomy between the ISUPK and these other Hebrew Israelite groups, i.e. Sakari, GOCC, IUIC, uh, GMS, et cetera, right? Would you concede that ISUPK is not affiliated with those groups I just named? You can answer, yes or no. Say that one more time, brother. Would you concede that ISUPK is not affiliated with GOCC, GMS, IUIC, GOCC, et cetera? Absolutely. We are not affiliated. We have that disclaimer uh, on the start of every video, the start of every class, that we are not affiliated with any other Hebrew Israelite group or Christian group, for that matter, you understand, on the planet Earth. Gotcha. So now my question to you is, how is it that you can take these individual situations, like you named, with these pastors doing this despicable shit? Because it's despicable. And it's, right. fucked, and it's fucked up. I'm, I'm saying that for the record. Like, it's disgusting. The stuff that right. you pulled up is disgusting. But that's, that's not indicative of every other pastor or every other church. How can you conflate with, with, with any honesty that with what any other church is doing. My prime example. So we got we everybody know who Pastor Bennett is that be on the Dagger Squad, that be on Black News 102 Sinetta Studios. He not doing what them pastors you just said is doing. Our brother who you debate, nobody not doing what those other pastors is doing. I got an uncle who not doing what those other pastors is doing. How can you conflate those brothers with those brothers who you just named that's doing that fucked up shit that we that you just named? If you and your organization is not affiliated with those other Israelite organizations. How can you then say that these brothers are, and they organizations, they churches, et cetera, are conflated with those other churches? Go ahead. Have you ever, real quick before I answer that, have you ever heard- Oh, oh, oh wait, stop, stop, time out, time out. 
I'm not, you're not asking the questions. I'm asking the questions. I, I got you. I'm, I'm gonna answer. You got, with, you, with got, this you, got, you got five minutes. I'm not answering no questions. I'm not answering no okay, questions. Okay, I need okay, you to answer my see. question. I, I got you. I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer. Okay. What I, what I wanted to say was you you have never turned around and caught any of these ministers, preachers, Christians alike saying that they were not affiliated. You understand? You never see a Christian say that. They're not a Christian. Time out, time out, time out. One more time. I'm not, whether they make a disclaimer or not, or they not individual people and individual organizations. Yes or no? They are individuals stop, stop, and they are stop, in the stop, same, stop, stop, same stop, Christian stop, religion. Stop, 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 stop. So. You just yeah. don't like my answer? Oh, 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 oh wait, 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 wait. Stop, I'm gonna stop, 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 <laughs> stop. I got a mute. I got a mute. So if Bethel Church or whatever, no, no, nobody, unmute yourself. What's the name of your church? Manifestation of God. Manifestation of God, Bethel Church, whatever. Let, let, let's say, let's say uh, Heritage Church. These are individual churches. So how can you conflate those churches with every other church, whether they got a disclaimer or not? If they not saying exclusive, if they not making it clear that they connected with those other churches, as in, in other words, sometimes you had like, you got Church of God in Christ, they got a bunch of churches under them. If they not under those churches, how can you say that they all connect? Go ahead. Thank you. They say that they are connected because ah. they're all Christians. They all, guess what? But if wait, y'all, y'all all, all, all Israelites. Y'all all no, Israelites. No, no, we're, we're not Israelites. Israelites don't do the things that they are doing. You understand? So, I mean, it's real simple. You're making it difficult because you don't understand. No, if, no, 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 no. If you are in the ISUPK. I'm out. So, so the ISUPK can simply say we Israelites and we not affiliated with every other Israelite group, but because a church doesn't say that, but they not saying that we are connected, they automatically connected. That's what you're saying. Just yes our, or no. Just yes or no. Actions. Just yes, our just, actions. Just yes or no. Just yes or no. Go ahead. Just yes or no. Our, our actions. Nope. You, you, I, just yes or no. Brown and ask me the question. I just need a yes or no. If you're going to go into anything but a yes or no, I got to mute you. If you don't like my answer, you the my. It's not about me liking your answer. I just need a yes or no. ISUPK has the liberty of saying we not connected with any other Israel. Uh, ISUPK oh, has the right. Oh. ISUPK has the liberty of saying we not connected with any Israel, any other Israelite group, and that's it. But a church that's not connected may not say it, but they not connected, and because they didn't say it, that automatically makes them connected. Yes or no? They're all connected. I'm asking yes or no. I don't need the extra extrapolation. I just need a yes or no. Unmute yourself. You gave me five minutes to answer. So, I mean, what? You yeah, your time. Your, 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 your time. Your time. Every time I stop you, your time to stop. I'm just asking yes or no on this particular point. Y yes or no on what? It, so, ISUPK can say, we not connected with any other Israelite group, but a church that hasn't explicitly said we're connected with any other church is automatically connected with another church, even though they haven't said they are connected with any other church. Yes, they automatically because, connected because, because they're ISUK. automatically connected because, because they're in the what? same religion. They're in the same religion. But, but you, but you in the same religion as these. No, we not. No, we How? not. We How? are. I've explained this to you before. We are in a class by itself. I, I, I just. I, I told you. you I, I, I give you a couple examples. Okay. I'll give you a couple examples. Give me a couple examples. G O C C, right? That group itself teaches to marry 
that black people can marry white people. Okay. They've done it. I've seen it in a group. We don't teach that. Right. So we're not affiliated with them. You don't hear us teaching it and then being a hypocrite and doing it. You don't see that. What we teach is what the Bible says, which is Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, God's chosen people, any one of the 12 tribes of Israel cannot marry outside of our nation. That's what you see us doing in the ISUPK. Those people that's doing something else, they're obviously not us because the Bible says to talk, walk, teach, do the same goddamn thing. And in the ISUPK under commanding General Yohanna, we talk, teach, speak, Walk, do the same goddamn things. You ain't going to get nothing, no different up under the ISUPK. Right. So this is why I say that those groups that you see doing those things, like the incident with Sakari, we not going to have bottle girls and exploit our women at the goddamn Passover at any function of ours. Sisters got to have a damn behinds covered up. You understand? Not being bottle girls and being thirst traps for, for, for lame Negroes. You understand? Those people that's doing that is not One West. They not ISUPK because guess what? It's laws against it. And we in the ISUPK keep and follow and do all the laws. So when it was it was the Lord, it was, that was right. That was perfectly right for the Lord to give that disclaimer to Commander General Yohanna and turn around and exclude us from everybody else because of their actions. And when you look at ours, you turn around and you see that we are the only men that's doing what God actually wants. And the Christian church, all of them together, are all they all doing it. They all, it would don't matter what denomination you are, it don't matter which lie you tell, they are going to tell a lie. And it all go together because it's all the same religion. You understand? You can't turn around and take a Baptist and a Pentecostal and take them and say that they're not the same. When they both is under the Christian umbrella. They tried to come up with different teachings and different things that they say that they do that's different from one another. But guess what? It all ends up under the same umbrella. And the, the ISUPK is not affiliated with those that do those things. We're not affiliated with TD Jakes. We're not affiliated with Creflo Dollar. We're not affiliated with a local preacher at any church around here. And we're not affiliated with GOCC. We ain't affiliated with IUIC. We got he, the leader of that group is a detective locking up people for years, doing all kinds of things. You understand? We're not affiliated with them. You understand? No matter which group that you come up with, it's a group here called Honor and Humility. They divorce their women. They give their women bills of divorces when Christ said, ain't no such thing no more. You got to learn how to deal with that goddamn black woman. So guess what? We're not affiliated with them either. You understand? We're not affiliated with none of them because they are all Christians, man. They all are hypocrites in some sort of way, shape, form, or fashion. But the ISUPK, we not. And that's why I've been saying this whole debate is the ISUPK is for the black community because we not hypocrites. You not going to catch us doing those things. You understand? You ain't going to have to turn around and we ain't going to say, well, uh, yeah, if the debate was about uh, who done the worst and who's been more filthier, then yeah, you'll have us by a landslide. You ain't going to see us or hear us doing that because we actually serve God, man. We actually follow Christ in the ISUPK. They don't in the Christian church. And like I said, I can prove it with his church or any other church. You, like you say your uncles or your cousins that's, or whoever church it is. I can prove that's every last minutes. one of them hypocrites. That's your five minutes. Finish your thought real quick. Like I was saying. Whoever you bring to the table, I can prove every last one of them hypocrites by the things that they teach and that they're all Christians. And that's the Christian way, man, to be liars, just like um, minister nobody and then admit it to being already. Cheers, cheers, cheers to, to, to our captain, captain, captain 10K of ISUPK. Not to me. It sounds like when it comes to Hebrew Israelites or Israelites, it's almost like 
and I'm going to let you respond to this, Cap, because I'm saying it. I'm going to let you respond to it for two minutes because this ain't really on our schedule. It sounds like this ain't no different than Christians having different denominations with Baptists, uh, uh, Pentecostal, etc., uh, non-denominational, Church of God in Christ, uh, uh, apostolic. That's what it sounds like when, when you say ISUPK, GOCC, IUIC, uh, AOC, and all of these different things. It All it sounds like to me is different denominations. Respond. You got two minutes. Okay. Uh, it would sound like that to you because you're just simply not understanding that the ISUPK is the one and only home of the truth. When you ask the question about who actually follows the biblical text, I'm proving to you and showing you how the ISUPK does because we do not rape and molest women. That's not a denomination that, uh, you know, what we call fake Israelites. You understand? Those people are simply not in the truth. The same way that the Christian church is not in the truth. You understand? It's all the same. It's all Christianity. The things that they are doing, like I said, you got record of this. This ain't nothing I'm just talking and saying. You got record of preachers going to strip clubs. You got record of uh, Gorilla Hebrew and, and uh, whatever the name of their group is going to or having strippers or what he tried to make a difference and say when well, they weren't actually at a strip club. They just had strippers at what their event. You understand? So it, it makes no difference. That's Christianity all day long. But you have never seen and you will never catch the men in the ISUPK at a strip club. You understand? So it's not that it's a, the, the same as having, you know, all these different denominations. You understand? What they are is Christians themselves. They are doing the same thing that the Christians in the church does. That's why we say it's ISUPK versus everybody and everybody else is Christians because they are all doing things like Christian. You understand? No matter whether they actually molesting the kids, if they haven't molested the kids, they, they are teaching false doctrine. They're teaching lies. You understand? So like I said, it's not that that uh, that is the, the denomination thing. That's something that the Christian church made up. But what these brothers have done is that they once were in the ISUPK. But then turned around and fell off and left and went and tried to make up their own nonsense. You understand? They stopped following Christ. You understand? And they made up their own doctrine. And that's why the ISUPK, and by us being the one body of Christ, that's our right to say that we're not affiliated with them. Because same way that you wouldn't affiliate yourself with Eddie Long because of what he did, I wouldn't affiliate myself with Gorilla Hebrew for what he did. So they are the same to me. They are Christians to me. You understand? Because of the things that they do. All right. All right, Cap. I'm going to drop a bomb. But now I'm going to move on to nobody, but I'm going to say this. Now, Cap just said the same way I wouldn't affiliate myself with Eddie Long. Now, I wouldn't affiliate myself with Eddie Long because I ain't a Christian no more. I ain't been a Christian for a while. But I'm going to ask nobody. Nobody, unmute your mic. Would you affiliate yourself with Eddie Long? Now, you a Christian, right? Right. Would you affiliate yourself with Eddie Long? Nope. Say that again? Nope. So it's kind of confusing to me, but I'm going to move on from it. He contradicting now, himself. <laughs> but go ahead. Now, 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 let me ask you this, because you're a Christian. All Christians believe that Christ was born of a virgin. Now, ISGPK don't believe that. ISGPK believes that Joseph was the father. And they got scriptures to back it up. And if I got to bring Cap back to back it up with scriptures, I will. They believe that Joseph was the father, not that, Jesus, that Christ was conceived of the Holy Spirit. So all Christian denominations believe that, right? That, that Christ was conceived of the Holy Spirit. Would you agree to that? Yeah. Okay. So now, with that being said, I just asked Cap. How can he say that all Christian denominations are the same? 
and how can he lump y'all all in the same box? So I'm going to ask you, why can't he lump y'all in the same box if y'all all believe the same thing? Because you just said all Christians believe that Christ was born of a virgin and it was conceived of the Holy Spirit as opposed to Joseph. They don't believe that. So why hmm. can't he lump y'all all in the same box? Because um, because all, oh, ho, 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 wait, real quick. Y'all all believe that Jesus was conceived of the Holy Spirit. That's that's a Christian doctrine, right? right? It's right. a Christian doctrine that God sent Jesus to earth via Mary to cleanse us of our sins. Is that correct? Okay, I, 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 I'll accept that. Go ahead. Okay, so now, if that's what all Christians believe, why can't he lump y'all all in the same box? You got because we are- because we all don't practice the same thing. Uh, we do have beliefs that are the same as, as in the one that you stated, but we all don't practice the same thing. Like for example, uh, my church don't teach the prosperity gospel. My church don't teach that come you out, can wait. Come out, come out, come out, come out. So, so y'all, y'all, y'all got the same basic tenet about how Jesus came into being and how right. he came to earth. What you mean y'all don't teach the same thing? There, there, there are other teachings in the Bible that we don't agree on. Like what? Like, for example, let's say the Pentecostal church. The Pentecostal believes that you have to talk in tongues in order to be saved. We don't teach that. Don't, don't the Bible teach that? No. Break it down. What, you're talking about that specific scripture? So, okay, so so you say the Pentecostal teach that, that you have to speak in tongues. So, so now what about apostolic? What about them? Like, what do they teach? I mean, it it, it depends on the individual. Um, let's just say, it, it, it depends on the individual. Wait, 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 Paul. It depends on the individual? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, a, a, a person can be an apostolic or a Methodist or whatever, and they may oh, hold... Oh, are y'all Christians or not? A, a Christian is a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ. What is with all these, these different titles then? If y'all Christians, y'all Christians, right? Because right. if y'all Christians, then the cap is justified in lumping y'all all together. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I would say that we are Christians as in being believers and followers of Jesus Christ. But okay, we do. so then, so then, if y'all, if y'all Christians, and and that's it, regardless of apostolic, Pentecostal, etc., then ISUPK is justified in lumping y'all all together. Would you agree? No, nah, I disagree. How would you disagree if all that matters is that y'all are Christian? Because it's not the only thing that matters. Uh, doctrine matters. How is that not the only thing that matters? Because doctrine matters. How? Y'all all Christians. But doctrine matters as well. Uh, just, just, just because you are a Christian or claim to be a Christian, um, what you teach may be different than what somebody else teach. So you, so, so, let me say for example, Cap, Cap can't say that I'm a person, let's just use it for example, let's say people who teach that um, Pentecostals teach that in order to be saved, you have to you have to speak in tongues. Even though I would consider them Christians, I don't agree with that doctrine. So so he can't say I'm one of them because so wait, I, I, I don't so wait, teach that. So wait, so, the, so you agree that the people who say you got to speak in tongues are still Christians like you? Yeah, right? I, 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 I would still say that they believe in Christ, yeah. Yeah. You still say they believe in Christ, but they don't yeah. teach the same thing you teach, and you believe yeah, cer- in Christ. Cer- certain things, yeah. Cer- certain things, certain things that I may teach, they don't teach. And, and y'all things all they read teach, the same book. Teach. Yeah, but we are we. I, I would consider all, all but of what? us Christians. But what? But what? what? I was saying, I, I would I, I was saying, but I would consider us Christians because of the base belief in Jesus Christ, which is what which is what I would say make us Christians. But now that we share the same view on every you, single you confusing, thing, you confusing the shit out of me right now because How y'all believe that? the same thing, but y'all don't believe the same thing. Yeah, but y'all, both be- the same, but y'all both Christians. Yeah, we we have certain doctrines that we agree on. We have certain doctrines that we disagree on. So it's not confusing so, so at all. Y'all don't believe the same thing. There, I'm going to say it again. There are some, certain things that we do believe that are alike, and there are certain things that we do believe that So y'all that are don't different. believe the same thing. You're trying to say not y'all in, believe the same thing, but y'all don't. No, not, not in totality. No, I'm, I'm saying what you're saying. In totality, we all don't believe so the exact same thing. So then y'all don't believe the same thing. Why are you saying y'all believe the same thing? Why are because, you giving 
Why are you saying you the same thing they is if you don't believe the same goddamn thing? No, I'm I'm saying I'm the same thing they is as in being a believer in Christ. The doctrines that we differ on, we are not the same man. That's not complicated at all. The, I, see, this this Bible shit is bananas. Because y'all all reading the same book. So right. y'all believe the same thing, but these little variations is what make y'all different. Yeah, that's that's why we had different nominations, yeah. Because because of those small variations that you're talking about. I didn't come I didn't come up with the denom I, I didn't I didn't come up with denominations. I mean for, for example, I, I just gave you an example. The the uh just uh, again, let's just say the Pentec the Pentecostal church. Even though the Bible doesn't teach that you have to speak in tongues in order to be saved, they believe that. So that's what makes them Pentecostals, even though I don't believe that. Now I do agree with them on Jesus Christ, him being, you know, him being uh, born of Mary and coming, coming to die for our sins and stuff like that. Th that's something that we agree on, but we are separate in denomination because of the differences that we share about scripture. That's where the difference comes in. At. It's, it's, it's kind of the same thing Cap is saying. But, 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 but even with all the differences, y'all still Christian. Uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say with all the differences. I would say with with certain differences. E.I. Why I brought up the Pentecostal Church. Okay, let's say for so example. Let me, so let me hold, hold, wait, 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 wait. Go, go Seven ahead, Day Adventists. Seven Day Adventists claim to be Christians too, but they teach a whole nother doctrine. I wouldn't call Seven Day Adventists Christians because they teach a whole nother out of the way doctrine, even though they claim to be. Now, the, the, there are denominations who I would say are not Christians based off the doctrine. But when it comes to the Pentecostal church, uh, uh, you know, and, and other churches, but I'm talking about them specifically. One of the disagreements that we have is small. Them believing them believing that we have to speak in tongues is not gonna send nobody to hell or not. But there, but, but there are groups who teach different doctrines that is total heresy in which, in my opinion, I wouldn't consider them Christians. Just because they claim to be Christians. This shit, this shit confusing, bro. Like, so you confu you confusing the shit out of me. I so, mean, I, I told you at the beginning. Oh, listen, down the doctrine. Time out, time out. Let me ask you this, and I'm gonna give you five minutes, just like I gave Cap. Now, okay. is Cap and ISUPK, from what you just said, justified without y'all giving the the same disclaimer that ISUPK gives, without you saying we are not affiliated with any other church? Is he justified in in lumping y'all all together? You got five minutes to answer. No, he's not justified in, in lumping us all together because we all don't teach and practice the same thing. That's the reason why the conversations that I've had with this brother, I started out just addressing ISUPK. But since he wanted to group all Christians together, then I was led to group all Israelites together. Because, but, but from what he's saying, it's a contradiction because it's just like you said, ISUPK is nothing but another denomination of Israelites. Like for example, we claim Christian. So like he said, we all fall under the umbrella of Christian. They claim Israelites. Well, then they, fall, based off his same logic, they all should fall under the, the uh, title of Israelites. ISUPK, GMS, all that, those are other denominations, just like in the Christian church. So when you asked me the first question you asked me about Eddie Long, I did tell you that I'm not associated with him. If you go down my Facebook posts, I list people who I am not associated with. I list doctrines that I'm not associated with. Now, I don't have a school like ISUPK online where I can, you know, where I just say it every single day. But if you know me, if you follow my posts, I do disassociate myself with people in the same way that ISUPK disassociate themselves with people. So it would be hypocrisy for him to say that we're all the same under the banner of Christianity, but then deny that they are all the same under the banner of Israelites, because that's what it is. But me, being a man of integrity, I, uh, I can conclude that I don't have to address all Hebrew Israelites. I can just address ISUPK as I was doing until I was uh, led into addressing our Hebrew Israelites. I have no problem with just addressing ISUPK. But what I would ask for is for him to address me that same way, in which we see he don't. He groups me together with other pastors or preachers or churches who I am not associated with. He even claimed that I do the same thing that those people do, even though my track record says different. So for him to group us all together, that would make, that would make him a hypocrite. That would also make him a liar 
because he said several times that we all teach the same thing. He said, we all believe the same thing. He said, we all do the same thing. That is a lie. Now, when I misspoke, I repented of my sins like the Bible told me to do. I'm not a habitual liar. You can go on this channel as far back as you want to go and you will see um, me not lying about anything. But when I do say something that's wrong, I have no problem coming back and making it right because that's what the Bible says for us to do. This man just lied and said that we all teach the same thing. We all do the same thing, all the other stuff. Let's see him go make a public apology about him lying. He's not going to do it. Why? Because he don't follow Christ. Now, the Bible says that he who says he's without sin is a liar. This man is making it like ISUPK don't commit any sin at all. The Bible says if you say you have no sin, then you're a liar. Jesus called this man a liar. So he's a liar. Just because, just because he can claim that they haven't raped nobody or they haven't molested nobody, those are not the only sins in the Bible. This dude lied several times on this show. Several times. So he, he's a liar. He sins all the time. Um, my church do not teach that there is no law. My church teaches that we are under the new covenant in which we have to follow the law of Christ. We don't have to follow the law of Moses. He lied about that. Christian churches do not teach you that, that there is no law at all. We teach that the law of Moses has been fulfilled. Therefore, it was uh, Jesus was able to usher, usher in the new covenant. He, uh, the Bible says that not one jot or one tittle will be removed from the law unless all is fulfilled. This is what Hebrews do. Hebrews will agree that we don't have to keep the sacrificial laws. Well, the sacrificial law is one jot or one tittle. So since that one jot or one tittle is gone, therefore all of it is fulfilled. Christ did not come to do away with the law. He came to fulfill the law so that they law, I mean, so that he could bring in the new covenant. The Bible says that the new covenant is the better covenant. The Bible says the new covenant is the greater covenant. He wants people to be stuck under the schoolmaster. We don't need one minute, the schoolmaster. One minute, Jesus, one minute. I don't, I don't need the whole minute, bro. Um, I just want to say over, overall, he would be wrong to lump us all together under his ideology and not feel as if it's right to lump all Israelites together under his same ideology. But again, I don't have his ideology. I have the ideology of truth. Therefore, I can address a person or a camp based on what they believe and not what other people who, who may take the same title or same claim. And I would like to have the same respect given to me, but this dude is a Hebrew Israelite, so I know he's not gonna do that because these dudes are liars, they're disrespectful, they're hateful, and they give hate speech. Rather than coming to the table to reason and seeing what a person actually says, what they actually teach, what they actually do, they're gonna put what somebody else did on you, even though you don't do those things. That's the type of ideology that we get from these brothers. The black KKK. <laughs> The wow. black KKK eyes you pick <laughs> My brother, nobody of eyes of trust. Nah, hold up. Don't, group, don't, group, don't group me with them Bible believers. <laughs> please, please don't put him in here. It, you got you gotta get that correct, DMG. Hey, he I, is I, not I, one way. You see, I cut myself. He you is see, definitely not. Myself. Let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah, he, definitely. He, he ain't got enough testosterone hey, to be one way. I'm yeah, definitely I got, not one way. <laughs> Because I almost said it, so now. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not suffering from an identity crisis. Definitely. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this final part of the, not the final part, but the 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 uh, penultimate part of the debate. Each brother has two questions apiece to ask the other brother, and you will have eight minutes to answer each question. Let me uh, get my timer ready. And we're going to start with Captain 10K of ISUPK since the brother nobody been going first for most of the, of the debate. Captain DeGaulle, you got two questions to ask our brother. The first one will be, you have four minutes to answer. The second one, you have another four minutes. Your first question, his answer, his time will start when you start. You got two questions each. He, ha he has four minutes to answer each question. This is your first question. All right, my first question is, is there salvation for white people? And if so, can he show me in the scripture? 
Uh, yes, there is salvation for white people and all other people that God created. Um, John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son for whosoever shall believe shall be saved. So that goes for all people. That's it. What's next? Okay, but uh, I'm going to give you a scripture real quick that would counter what what's you just your, said. What's your, what's your second question? You, you still got time on the first one, right? Uh, I know, you, Hold but, on, you, he, but you're not rebuttaling me if you're asking me questions. He, it's not on no interrogation. He, oh, real, real quick. Now, Cap, were you satisfied with his answer or do you want to rebuttal his answer? Because it's I'm, a rebu I'm a rebuttal. Because I know he, he still got four minutes. Right, that's, and that's what I wanted to do. Okay. I wanted to rebut that. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. You understand? Um, and I say, let me get the scripture real quick. <clears throat> yeah, in Isaiah, wait, it's 45, 17, right? Seven. Hmm? Seven? Hold, hold on one second. Come on and twist the scripture, man. I, 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 I never heard it. Come on and twist it. Go ahead. Not, 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 not twisting anything. Hold, hold your horses. I never heard it. I didn't heard it a hundred times before. Come on and twist it real quick. Seven. All right. Uh, you made a reference to John at three six three and sixteen, where it says, right. "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son." And in Isaiah forty five and seventeen, it says this: "It says, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation." It doesn't say everybody. It doesn't say white people. It doesn't say Africans. It doesn't say anyone else, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. And it says that ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Right. Now, the word world just means age or society of right. people. And the Bible was specifically talking about a certain uh, race of people. And how do you say that uh, uh, salvation is for everybody, every nation, white people. You understand? And I know that's the only nation that you really is concerned about is the white race uh, having salvation. But how do you say something that the Bible says something different? How, how do you claim to be a man of God and a man that follows God and follows Christ when this is in the New Testament and in the Old Testament of that Israel being the only nation? Just, just one minute on this question. Just one minute left. Like I ain't gonna never get to talk. Okay, uh, I would I would say that uh, you read from the Old Testament under the Old Covenant, in which God was nation building. What I read was from the New Testament under under the New Covenant, in which the Gentiles was grafted in. And that word anyone debunks anything that you have to say. John three sixteen says, "For God so loved the world that whosoever whosoever is anybody is is not um, dictating that it has to be Israel. That one scripture debunks." what you just read from Isaiah on, under the old covenant. I, I got you. But in Romans 11 and 26, it says it again. It says, so all Israel shall be saved. And it says the same thing. So where do you get that all nations is going to be saved and salvation is for all nations when in the New Testament? Because you just had a problem with the Old Testament. But now I just pulled the scripture in the New Testament that says, all Israel shall be saved. So how are you saying that it's going to be anybody and in salvation is for everybody if the New Testament says only Israel is going to be saved? Uh, the New Testament doesn't say only Israel is going to be saved. You only read from one scripture that talked about Israel being saved. The New Testament makes it clear by what I just read in 316. Those are not my words. Those are the words of the Bible. Anyone who believes. Anyone means anyone. We learn what the word any means in elementary. We learn what the word one means in uh, elementary. We learn what the word anyone means in elementary. Uh, elementary. So uh, you have been indoctrinated by your commander, General Johanna, to believe that only Israel is saved when the Bible teaches no such thing. All right, time up on that question. We're going to move on to the second question. Let's go, Cap. Okay. Um, do you believe, according to the scripture, that the so-called white race is going into slavery, or do you believe that they're not going into slavery? When, like, what you mean? I mean, like, according to the Bible, right? I'm saying that the so-called white race is going into captivity 
the same way that black people went into captivity. Do you believe that or do you not believe that? Let, let me rephrase your question and see if it's what you're saying. Uh, how, how our ancestors went to slavery, you know, here in America, or are you, are you asking me, is there going to be a time where white people go into slavery like we did here on earth? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's the same, the same thing. I'm saying that white people put black people into slavery, right? Uh -huh. And do you believe that they are going to get that same uh, judgment and go into slavery, or do you not believe it? Are oh, you talking about her on, on earth? I'm talking about her on earth. I don't know where else it would happen. At. Okay, no, I'm just because I, I know some Hebrew Israelites that teach that, um, you know, white people are going to be slaves to us, you know, in, in heaven. So I was just trying to see where I was trying to see where you were coming from. So I don't where, where, where is heaven going to be at? Where is heaven going to be? At? Heaven, it's gonna be heaven on earth. On earth. Yeah. Well, if you know it's going to be on earth, then why would you think I would be talking about being slaves in the sky? I didn't say slaves in the sky. I'm talking about in, in that this is why I rephrased my question to ask you, are you talking about like here now on earth or what are you talking I'm about? Ta in hey, let's, let's, hey, yo, 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 let's, let's just answer the question. Let's I'm talking I'm, about I'm, ask, I'm, the I'm, question, I'm, ask the question and answer the question. We're not arguing, it, Bianca, we're not it, arguing, does bro. He, does he believe that the white race, are they going to be slaves or are they not going into slavery? That's, that's all I ask. I'm, I'm trying to see by which way are you referring that to? Do I believe that people that um, white people are going to be slaves in heaven? Now, do I believe that, um, just say what you believe, black people are Israelites, that somehow in this world that we live in now, not in heaven, like in this world, do I believe that somehow the roles are going to be reversed, let's say in 3,000, and then black people are going to have white people as slaves? No, I, I, I don't believe that. So, so you don't believe the Bible? No, I don't believe what you're saying. I believe the Bible. Oh, okay, so when the Bible says this in Revelation, uh, what's that, 13 and 9, do you, do you believe this? When it, when it says here, give me a second so I can get it for you. When it says, <clears throat> if any man have an ear, let him hear. That means if you can understand what I'm about to say to understand. In verse 10 it says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into the captivity. Now, you do agree that uh, white people put black people in chains, right? That's no, there's no disagreement there, right? Um, I agree that all people have been slaves at one point in time or another throughout history. No, 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 no. That's not the question. I'm saying, do you believe, so that's what I believe. white people put black people in? I mean, yeah, slavery? of course. I mean, who would deny that? I'm, uh, no, okay, I, no, okay, no, no, so, no, no. Okay, I believe, so we, right, so I believe, we agree there. Okay, no, no, so no, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't agree. I, I don't agree. Oh, you, you don't, don't agree. Me, okay, you don't let me answer my question. You agree or you don't? You don't let me, if, you, you don't do let you me speak for myself. you agree or you don't? You don't let me speak for myself is what you're going to do. Do you agree um, or I believe, you don't? I believe, I believe that African people from the continent of Africa had us in slavery over there as well. And when we came to America, yeah, white people had us in slavery too. So you agree. So you yeah. would agree that the white I want to clear my answer black up. people in slavery. I said, do you I agree, agree that black people did as well. That white people put black people in slavery. That's I agree what I, that people, I agree that black you people try, did as, you try, as well. You're trying to deflect. I'm no, just, I'm, I'm not real deflecting. Simple. You asked me what do I believe. I'm telling you what I believe. White people you can't, you can't tell me what I believe. Slavery. You can only let me give you can only give, you won't, give my you won't answer, answer for what I believe. You, you won't no, answer. you can't you can't tell me what I believe. You can ask so, me a question so do, and let so me do, answer your so question. White, so you, you can agree, stop cutting me off at any time so because you, you, you agree that me white questions. people put black people in slavery. Do you agree with I, that? I, I, I agree that all people been. I, I agree that all people have been. Yeah, all slavery. people. I, I didn't ask you about all people. Well, I'm, I'm telling you what I agree with. Do you believe that white people put black people in slavery? All I right, believe that all, all right, people have put people in slavery. Time, why why, why won't you answer the question? Brothers, uh, brothers, that's time. Wrap it up. Because he's a hypocrite. Ask the question one more time and you, and you answer the question and that's it. Do, do you believe that white people put black people in slavery? I believe that all people have put people in slavery. See, that's not people. the answer to the question. That's not, that's that is the answer to your question. This is, this is why you okay, don't. Okay, real quick, real quick. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> you stop all time out. Oh, he's time mad. Out. Time out. Oh, time the baby. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. So now, Cap, you're going to ask the question one more time. Nobody. I just need a yes or no. Okay. I'm going to just say yes. I ain't got to ask. Yes. Okay, go ahead. All right. So, so the answer. Finally, the, the hypocrite answers the question. 
I haven't said so nothing now, hypocritical. So now, according, so according it ain't to your time Lord no more. Your time is over. Oh, that's, that's it. That's your it. Your time is it. over. That's your time is over. That's it. That's it. Bye. That's it. Your time is over. So now, Bye. so now what we're going to do, <laughs> what we going to do, each, each contestant or participant is going to take five minutes. What do you, nah, what do you I got to ask my question. Soccer, I didn't get to ask my two questions. Oh, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. My bad. Nobody didn't get to ask his question. So nobody. Now you got two questions. Cap got five minutes to answer each question. Go ahead. Um, Cap, based on the Zonovan Dictionary, do, uh, do you believe that Negro in the Zonovan Dictionary is saying that Negroes or Jews. You said, do I believe that in the Zondervan, the Negro is saying that we Jews? Yeah, the word Negro first, in the Zondervan Dictionary, do you believe that off, they're saying that we Jews? First off, find the word Negro and you won't see the definition Negro in- I agree, Zondervan I agree. At all. I agree, I agree. That's why I'm asking you the question. Yeah, uh, do, again, yeah, same question. You. I need y'all to condense this stuff to 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 yes or no. It's a, yeah, right. It's a simple question. I, I, I got you. Running but, short but on the time. Word, but the word and the definition is not in. It's it's not in the. I know that. Uh, Real quick, we running short on time. I just need yes or no answers. Yes or no. Okay. Okay. Again, if I could ask my same question, I didn't ask you was the word Negro defined in the. Based off of your reading of the Zonovan Dictionary, in which you say that the Negro were actually Jews instead of Africans. According to the Zondervan Dictionary, are Negroes listed as Jews? According to the Zondervan Dictionary, the definition for the word Negro is not in the Zondervan Dictionary. So that's, so that's a no, so, okay. So what, so what so I'm no. saying, I'm, I'm not done answering the question. When, when it says Negro so, in the- Okay, Cap, Cap, is it a yes or a no? I just need one or the other, yes or no? It's, it's saying that the- is it a yes or a no? It's saying no that we're not Africans. That's what it's. I didn't. Is, I, it, is it a yes it or a Jews? no? Is it a yes or no? Does it say we're no? Jews? Does it say we're Jews? Yes or no? I mute them. Uh, I mute. Uh, I mute uh, yourself. The the definition when it when it's brought up in the word. I mean, oh, uh, in man. the well, cap. Is it a, a yes, yes or no or question? A, a no. Why or in? Yes or no? Does the Zondervan it, it Dictionary said, say that we are it Jews? Said, it says we're not Africans. I, I know, asked it to say that's we're Jews. You. Hold it's on, nobody, wrong with this nobody, 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 real yeah. quick. I ain't tripping, bro. I'll move to the next question. I'll move mute, on to the next question. Mute your mic, mute your mic. Okay, no, okay. Cap, unmute yourself real quick. Negro is not even in the definition. Cap, cap, and it does not cap, say that it's cap, you. Cap, so he's asking me a rhetorical cap, question. Cap, cap, so I have to turn you around and give you the you. basis behind the cap, definition of cap, what he's asking. Cap, time out. This me and you. I'm not you. asking. I'm not asking. I, I know what you're that's asking. A, that's a conversation I gotta, for me and I got to clear up Later this on. question. That's because his question Hold is rhetorical. Hold on. Time out. I got you. That's a conversation for me and you later on. I'm asking you, yes or no. I'm clearing it up in this conversation no, no, right no. here. I just need because yes he's asking. Or no. He's asking the sure. idiotic question. Listen, he, they, I'm, I'm, you muted. Nobody gonna ask the question one more time. I'm gonna give you a chance to say yes or no. If you can't say yes or no, don't even answer. Just say you a pass. I just need yes or no. I ain't passing nothing. Move on. Okay, so I need yes or no. Nobody ask your question. If you don't get a yes or no, we're going to move on. Does the Zonovan Dictionary teach that Negroes are Jews or say or whatever? No, it does not. Okay, thank you. I know it don't. Um, my second question. Is Deuteronomy 20, is Deuteronomy 28 and 6? Huh? Okay, um, is Deuteronomy 28 and 68 talking about the transatlantic slave trade? Absolutely. Okay, that's all I got, Pierre. Okay, so let me respond to what he said now. I don't okay. need you to respond. Yeah. You you were answering questions. I, oh, I don't I don't I don't need you. I got I got I got time I got time. I got time, got time under my, under my, he got five minutes. I got time under my belt, so I'm gonna answer. He got five minutes. 
nobody. So let, let okay. him extrapolate on whatever you want to extrapolate. You got five minutes. And then I get to rebuttal him. Exactly. Like, so, I, I wasn't going to rebuttal right. so, exactly. okay. 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 First off, first okay, cool. off, that was an idiotic question right. to even ask. Does it say in the Zondervan that Negroes are Jews? When you go and look in the Zondervan, we got it right here, dum dum. It does not even say Negro in her as a definition, period. So you're asking me an idiotic damn question. When it mentions the Negroes, what it's doing is identifying us as not being Africans. You understand? You're saying that we are Africans, but in the Zondervan, the people that went and did the research that said and concluded that these people that's dark skin and nappy hair and braids and all of that is not Africans, man. That's what it does say. So for you to ask me that question about being a, a saying it's a Jew, that's an idiotic question because it's not even there. You understand? It's not even there. And like he said, he know it's not in there. So he's just being damn a, a hair tick, man. That's all. You understand? And then- A heretic is a person who ties scripture out of context and ain't got nothing to do with dictionary. And, so and first you, off, you I asked ask you that question because you teach, you teach that Negroes are Jews. Based on you they, teach that they are, I, and not because of the Zondervan definition. We have videos on this channel. That's not why we teach that. We don't teach that because of the Zondervan definition. Not because of the Zondervan definition. Stop the dude, Pianca. Okay, you yeah. teach uh, now. You, you don't mute me. Mute you, you asked, you said that the question I asked was idiotic. It was not idiotic because when we asked about Negroes, well, why, you why went you to the Zonovan Dictionary, and after that, you try to use that, that dictionary as to say, well, since oh, Negroes are not, you try to say, well, since the Negroes are not yeah, Africans. You're going to get your time back. I'm answering both he, the he questions. Tried, he tried to say that based off the Zonovan Dictionary, since the, since the Zonovan I'm, Dictionary I'm says now. that Negroes time are no. not Jews. Yeah, let him get it out. Time to talk. He, 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 he tried to say, time back. Let him get it out. He ain't got no discipline. Say now, what he, he got to say. He, he, he tried to say time. discipline. I just generally honor on teachers. Hold on, nobody, nobody. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Finish with what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Let him get it out, and you gonna get your time. All the time, you are gonna get your time back. Let him get it out. All right. He now, can he get it out when I'm done, man. I'm he not can't even respect now, the host. You're not doing it for him. You're doing it for me and the platform. He don't, he don't respect the host. I, I have five minutes. You don't respect the host, man. Yeah, let him get it out. Not for it's him. My time. <laughs> he running on them. Yeah, yeah. You're not he doing gonna it have to go when I'm. You're not yeah. doing it for him. Go. You're doing it for me. These parts to this question. So, I'm nobody, go ahead. Yeah. All right. I want to um, he, the other he, he, said, he said that I asked the idiotic question. I asked the question because they like to pull out the Zonovan Dictionary as to say that the Negroes are not African. And based off of that, they somehow implied that that means that we are Jews. So I asked that the Zondervan Dictionary say that we were Jews. I already know that it doesn't say that. The Zondervan Dictionary doesn't say we are Hamites, doesn't say we are Shamites, doesn't say we are Joseph, um, Josephite. Now, what happens in the Zondervan Dictionary, in which I broke down in my first spiel, um, we know the mind frame of white people at that time, including the Zondervan family. The word Negro in the Zondervan Dictionary is used to describe us as beast of the field. It is saying that we were animals. They came up with that definition so that they could appease their white counterparts as into how they treated black people during slavery. Now, these people claim that they hate white men and hate all this and that stuff. They're reading from a white man's dictionary while also taking the white man's definition of calling us animals, not Jews. They, we Negroes are Africans, according to the definition. You can look at any any Oxford Encyclopedia, Webster, um, Mediterranean, any of those, they would say that the Negroes are Africans from South Africa. The Zondervan Dictionary has an opposed um, definition for Negroes because they were trying to justify how they treated our people during slavery. And I have proven that in the book called Negro, a Beast. So. All right, so no, not nobody. We're gonna let Cap respond. You got five minutes. Cap, if you go over, I'm gonna let you extrapolate for another two minutes. Go ahead. You got five minutes. 
first off, you gotta you gotta prove where the definition of Negro means beast. You understand? It does not mean beast at all. I don't even know where he can get that from. You understand? And like what I was saying before, I was so Christianly interrupted. You understand? The uh, in in Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty eight, leading all the way up into that. He was speaking about the Jews, right? The Israelites, okay? And when you get to Deuteronomy 28 and 68, it prophesied and said that the Israelites would be going into slavery on a ship. Who in the record in history do you have that went into captivity on a damn ship? When the Israelites, they first walked out of Egypt. You understand? We walked out of Egypt. And then we went into slavery on a ship. And it is absolutely talking about the goddamn slavery that we have suffered here in America. And uh, Mr. Minister, nobody said that the black church got us out of slavery. Negro, we still in it. Right. We still slaves to this day. You understand? So you ain't freed us from nothing. We still getting murdered. We still getting oppressed. We still are suffering at the hands of the very people that you claim you freed us from. You understand? And with that Christian mumbo jumbo, you ain't doing nothing but keeping black men slaves. Right. That's what you're doing with that nonsense that you teach it. And that's why you weasel your way around answering questions. And then you want to ask me a dumb question that you know that don't even exist in the Zondervan. We don't teach from the damn Zondervan, we teach from the Bible. Right. The Zondervan just so happens to turn around and support what's in the Bible, which is that the Israelites that went into captivity, everybody that's of dark skin is not the damn same. Right. You could try to lump us all the same if you want. You could turn around, hell, the census that you take identifies you as being a Negro. So what in the hell is wrong with you saying that you're a Negro? You talking about it means Beast, show me where it says beast at. Show me where the definition of damn Negro means beast or animal. You can't do it because you just talking and running your goddamn mouth, man. You understand? And here's the thing. He talking about reading from a white man's book. You in a whole white man's religion. When, when our people first was given Christianity, what color was Jesus Christ versus what the Bible says color, the color of Christ is? The Bible said that Christ was Wesley Snipes black, but the picture that they gave us our grandmothers and great grandfathers was a damn white boy, blue eyes and blonde hair. But you accept that, but you won't accept what's actually in the Bible is that the Jews are black. The Bible says that in uh, Jeremiah 14 and two, that the Jews are black. You talking about we suffer from an identity crisis. How do you explain that? When you're trying to imply and say that the Jews are white, but the Bible says that the Jews are black. So who's suffering from the goddamn crisis? The Bible says that you are the greatest damn people to ever live, and you want to give it to, to somebody else. You're talking about shifting and playing soccer and football. Your puck ass running all over the goddamn court, man. You all over the damn place. Because you are a Christian and you in a religion that turn around and makes black men weak. You have no kahunas. You have nothing to stand on but your goddamn rhetoric, man. And you can't prove nothing that you're saying. That's why when you act, you talk about slavery, hell yeah, black people went into slavery up under these white folks. You didn't even want to goddamn say it. Why? Because your religion, your faith, your belief, and you can't talk about that oppressor. You can't open your mouth against him. But you turn around and you're scared to answer a goddamn question. That's the problem with uh, Christianity, man. Christianity makes black men weak like minister nobody. You understand? You turn around and you have no balls as a goddamn man. You turn around and act like a sissy when you turn around and you ask a question and you can't answer it. You understand that? Um, Cap, that's time. Sorry, he ain't, he ain't finna keep, I'm finna say stop him for, for you throwing all them ad hominems, bro. But okay, go ahead. That's time. That's time. I'm, I'm okay, now do I get the rebuttal? Okay, now do I get the rebuttal? I'm gonna say it again. Check it out. Check do I get the rebuttal? No, P. Young, it's my time, my time to rebut what he said, right? You got two minutes to rebut, and then we're going to close out. All right. Again, he, he shows how this dude is a liar. Um, he asked me, 
did white people send black people into slavery? My first answer was yes. My second answer was all people have sent it people took you into a long slavery. Time to answer. My first you might, answer was yes. General Rudy Hunter don't teach these people no discipline. Again, he lied. He said, he said I, I didn't say the answer. I said it twice. Then I went around and said, all people have been through slavery. He said, yeah. uh, he said Deuteronomy 28 and 68 is talking about slave ships. Who else have went on slave ships? The Irish people came to America on slave ships. Oh the Mexican God. people went on, oh the Mexican God. people went on, <laughs> the Mexican people went on slave ships in 1442. Every, every nation, um, I mean, every race group on the face of this earth have been in slavery at one point in time or another. Obviously, he, he didn't know that. So slave ships doesn't identify you as the Hebrew Israelite. First off, I mentioned in my statement, I think my second statement, that um, I mentioned that, um, that um, Deuteronomy 28 and 68 was not even a prophecy. That's a book of the law. These cl these dudes claim to read oh, and study man. the Bible and know the Bible, but they don't even know that Deuteronomy is a book of the law. That is not a prophecy. First off, that prophecy says that you will be taken back to Egypt on slave ships. It's funny how they take the word ships, literal, but they take the word Egypt as an allegory, and it's in the same sentence. The Bible says that the Bible says that uh, in that passage, uh, a trip that I said that you will never make again. Show me where Hebrew Israelites, where black people, so fact as us, were slaves in America for us to have to make the trip again. These dudes don't know the Bible. Like I said at first, all they can do is twist scripture to try to fit their point in the same way he tried to twist the Zondervan Dictionary and say that it lined up with the Bible. I put on the screen, I showed where the ideology of the word Negro came from at the time when Zondervan wrote his dictionary. I put it up on the screen while you was talking. I put it up on the screen, I think, in, in, uh, in round one. You said show you the definition or show you where the ideology came from. I showed it to you. You're in denial, bro, because you're following a man, like the Bible says, named General Johanna, who don't follow Christ. He follows. All right, that's time, bro. Okay, well, yeah, that's it, man. Uh, this, <laughs> this dude is all over the place, man. As you see, uh, uh, pertaining to this conversation, he hasn't showed anywhere, any shape or form, how ISUPK has done more for black people than the black church. And this debate was over before it even started, man. All right, we're gonna drop a bomb for both of our brothers. I want to thank Captain 10K of ISUPK, the Gal Gabor of ISUPK, and the Commander Jenny Yohanna. I want to thank nobody of Trust and Believe the Gospel for coming on the channel doing this debate. What is better for Black people, the ISUPK or the Black Church? Been a great debate. Both brothers came in, spoke their speech. Right now, I'm going to have Captain De Gaulle take five minutes to close out extrapolate on why you feel you proved your point and why the ISUPK is better for black people. All right, no sweat. Um, I mean, everything that this cat has been saying today, Minister Nobody has been saying, uh, has been totally wrong when it comes to uh, black people being Africans. That's a lie. You understand? Uh, when it comes to the ISPK being a hate group, that's a lie. All we do is teach love for Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Uh, when he said, and he proved himself, you know what I'm saying, to, to be uh, unlearned on, on several different levels when it comes to history and when it comes to the Bible and when it comes to, you have to know that in the law, yes, that is in there, there's prophecy in there of us going into slavery. Yes, we did turn around and disobey God's laws. You understand? But guess what? You'll find in that same um, uh, book of the law, you'll find the prophecy of Christ coming. You understand? Right. That's that's in there as well. So prophecies are in the law. And that's what he doesn't understand because he doesn't deal with the Bible at all. He doesn't follow Christ. He follows preacher, whoever his pastor over his church. You understand? Who is a hypocrite? Who is a liar? You understand? He already said that the, the, the different religions and denominations, they all are Christians, and, but they all teach different things. You ain't going to get that in the ISUPK. No such thing as teaching different things, and then you all be a man of God. You either in or you out. You understand? That's, that's just simple as that. 
There's no way to be partial and be in between. The Bible speaks about you being lukewarm. You understand? If you lukewarm, the Lord said he'll spit you out of his mouth. And that's what minister nobody. That's why somebody calls himself nobody because he is a goddamn nobody. He minister nobody. Preachers do that all the time. They always got some old funny saying and line and name about themselves. And it makes them sound real damn silly to turn around and call yourself a nobody. But you're telling somebody about everybody and you want everybody to damn follow your ass when you are nobody. It's real goddamn silly. You understand? We're commanding you that Hannah is somebody. And commanded you and Hannah is somebody to be followed because he actually follows Christ. You understand? He is a black man from the tribe of Benjamin and he follows damn Christ. Um, like I said, man, this dude mentioned so many different things. He bragged on the, the civil rights. The civil rights has been proven to be a failure. You understand? We're still fighting for damn civil rights. Talk about what you freed us from. The black church ain't freed us from nothing. When we don't even have the goddamn right to walk up and down the street without the police pulling us over and profiling us and blowing our damn brains out. Michael Brown didn't have the freedom to walk across the goddamn street. Sandra Bland didn't have the freedom to damn move from one city to another. Tamir Rice didn't have a right to play with a goddamn gun in the park when, when little white kids have been known to play with real guns and kill everybody in the goddamn school. But you're talking about civil rights and what is proved and what you did when the black church has done nothing. You even admitted that the black church has done some horrible, horrible things, but you're still a Christian. You're still in it. You know what I did? I got out of it. You understand? I got out of such filth to turn around and see that my people was being destroyed by that nonsense. I said no more. I sided with Commander General Yohanna, and I turned around and did the right thing, not turn around and find which damn denomination I could fit in as if I'm going to make a difference. When none of the denominations have been making a difference, man. Christianity, period, is a failure in the black community, whichever, whether it's Baptist, Southern Baptist, Northern Baptist, Apostolic, Pentecostal, it don't matter which one you in, non-denominational, they all are failures to the black community, man, because they all lie. He just said that they don't even agree when the Bible says that a divided house shall not stand, man. There's no way for you to turn around and claim that you the house of God, but then be divided within yourself. When there is no division in the That's time, Cap. That's time. Finish up. All right, this is brother. All right, drop a bomb. <laughs> Captain 10K of ISUPK. <laughs> All right, my brother, nobody. You got five minutes. Close out. Uh, all right. Uh, just to let it be known, I call myself nobody because it's not about me. It's about Jesus Christ. Um, I'm irrelevant. I'm just a servant of Jesus Christ. So I call myself nobody to show humbleness. Um, this dude is called Captain of 10K. His name itself is a liar. He can't even show you 20 to 30 people who follow him, less than on 10,000 members. He got his head so far up General Johannes behind that he don't even know when he's been indoctrinated to the point to where they gave him a fake title and a fake name that he called himself while at the same time, he's telling us that the Christian church is teaching lies. Come on, man, your whole name is a lie. <laughs> like, um, again, I've proven in my first round, I've shown all the things. Well, I didn't get to show everything because of course I ran out of time, only had 10 minutes. I've shown several things that the black church has done for black people in which ISUPK didn't even exist at that time. He wants people to believe that God wasn't speaking to our people during slavery. He waited three centuries later until General Johanna was born. What type of stupidity is that, man? Again, the only thing you've heard this brother say was a bunch of rhetoric a bunch of hate speech, how he hate white people and other people and everybody else who not ISUPK. I don't have nothing against white people. I have something against racist white people. I have something against people who support white supremacists. I'm a 
I'm I'm pro black, but I'm pro truth over everything. I don't hate nobody because of their skin color. I would rather take after the doctrine of Dr. King. I would rather judge people based off the content of their character and not the color of their skin. This man only judges people based off the uh, content of the uh, color of their skin. The Bible doesn't teach you to hate nobody because of the color of their skin. You won't find racism in the Bible nowhere. Racism is a modern construct that we are up under. Our ancient ancestors and um, in the ancient times in the Bible, they had no concept of racism. So this man is reading the Bible with the 21st century Western ideology. We read the Bible based off of how the people in, at that time would have understood the Bible. This is the reason why this man only thinks that Israelites can be saved and no one else. When there are people who don't even believe in the Bible, who read the Bible, who will tell you the same thing that I said. Anybody can be saved according to the biblical narrative, but this man is so indoctrinated, he's following a man. Notice, I only brought up Jesus, 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 Jesus. This dude brought up General Yohanna, General Yohanna, General Yohanna. That's a man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now, I have nothing wrong with eldership. I understand leadership. I understand that we all should be under some sort of leadership. But the people who taught me, I don't look up to them like they're Jesus Christ in the way that he looked up to General Yohanna General as if he's Jesus Christ. Um, General Yohanna is no different than Ellen G. White. She's no different than, I mean, he's no different than Joseph Smith. Mormonism, Seven Day Adventists, Jehovah's Witnesses, all these are cults. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was, I was, um, I got an information from a, a psychologist the other day, and she said that the first thing cult leaders do is tear down who you are so that they can build you up into who they want you to be. She said this is the first thing that a cult leader do. What does this brother believe? He don't even believe that he's from Africa, even though we have proof that the slave ships that arrived in America came from West Africa and that Africans were selling other Africans. This dude is so indoctrinated that he believed that these people went to Africa and said, hey, give me the Jews and um, the tribe of Judah get off right here in America and the tribe of Levi get off over here and the tribe of Benjamin get out. They don't have no documentation to back up, prove or support any of that mess. It's nonsense. It's hate speech. They are a black KKK caught under the leadership of Commander General Johanna. Uh, this dude don't have no 10,000 people that he's that he um, that he lead, neither does Captain Cesare. I have 13,000 people that he lead. These dudes are a false group with false names who claim to be Bible believers in the same way that the KKK did. I am your boy, nobody. I always trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody, anybody, and that is Jesus the Christ. I am the host of Paradigm. I am the host of Trust and Believe the Gospel with my co-host, Jerome the Conscious Christian Green. Mr. Co-host to you, I am the self-proclaimed co-host of Paradigm Shift TV 314. And y'all already know what it is. The Black Church is a whole loaf. I is UPK at the breadcrumbs, man. Hey, DMG. God damn. Go ahead, real quick. Let me, 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 you know, so they had a bunch of questions for us. So did they get to ask questions to people that's listening? Or um, is we closing out? I, I, I did, hold up, uh, based on what he said too, I, I did have some people that wanted, that was asking what they're going to be able to call in to ask me and chop questions, but I know we don't have like yeah, a phone. We, 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 we don't have that. Yeah, he just tried to cut me off though. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hold, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, both of y'all. We don't have that capability right now, but we will pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. That was the closeout. I want to say, once again, salute to Cap 10K of ISUBK under command of Jenny Yohanna. Salute. I want to say thank you to my brother, nobody from Trust and Believe the Gospel. I want to thank everybody that tuned in. This was a huge debate for the channel. Huge debate for these brothers to come on and speak their speech. I appreciate both of the brothers giving me the honor of hosting this debate, this discussion, this dialogue. I think it was an important dialogue, and I think that we got a lot put out on the table. But I do have to close out because I got another thing that I have to do. Um, 
we will have more dialogue. We got a dialogue coming up with me and my brother Cap on Are We Israelites or Are We Africans? That's yeah, coming up pretty soon between me and Cap. We haven't set a date yet, but we'll let y'all know when that's coming up. I'm trying to put together some between my Cap and my brother, the Conscious Christian Jerome Green. That's Mr. Co-host to you. Mr. Co-host. Mr. Co-host to you. We haven't decided what they gonna talk about yet, but we'll figure that out. There's plenty of people that Cap want to take their head off, or they want to take Cap head off. So we're gonna figure those things out as it come along. But Cap is here, and he ready to decapitate anybody that's coming against ISUPK under the command of Jenny Yohanna. And the brothers is ready to defend their position. So we here, we ready. This is Paradigm Shift TV 314. This is where the truth lives, and we ain't scared of nobody. So nobody. everybody that want to step up, come get this work. I appreciate you, brothers. Salute. Hotel. Do I? Once again, salute to both of y'all for coming on and doing what y'all do. And we're going to jump off. Everybody that tuned in, I appreciate y'all. Brothers, once again, I 100% appreciate everything y'all brought to the table. Appreciate you, man. The people going to decide who won, who lost, and we'll do it again on the next rip. That's if we look, that's If we look at the comment section, we'll see more warns for me than tools for him. I don't think there's no tools in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it ain't over yet, though. It ain't over I know. yet. I'm just saying. I'm just hey, saying. Real it's quick, put, put those ones and those tools in the comment section as well because the live chat about to be over. Put so a one for nobody and a two for cap. one for nobody and that's two for cap. So, put them in the comment. We're going to be back at you. Cap, shalom to my cap. Shalom, brother. God bless to my brother, nobody. We'll be God back bless, at you. bro. That's peace. Hotel. That's peace.